Lord, praise the Lord. Blessings to you all on YouTube. We got Instagram and we got Facebook Live. God bless you. God bless you. I am Apostle Carmen Haywood. Stay with me as long as you can. All right. There is a word from the Lord. God bless you on Facebook Live tonight. Hallelujah. This is a night of the prophetic. Amen. Those of you that are on Instagram, stay with me as long as you can. YouTube, stay with us as long as you can. Prayerfully, next time we'll be on TikTok. Amen. We'll be on TikTok live. Glory to God. But for right now, amen, we are on three social media platforms. So I need you all to click that share button. Go ahead and like, tag, and share. All right. Like, tag, and share. It's the night of the prophetic. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's the night of the prophetic. Amen. With yours truly, Apostle Carmen Haywood. And I am the senior pastor a PIPW ministry, glory to God, where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty, amen, where the spirit of the Lord is, hallelujah, and that spirit is Jesus Christ himself, glory to God, where the spirit of the Lord is, there is liberty, another word for liberty is freedom, hallelujah, so at our church, glory to God, the spirit of the Lord rest, hallelujah, he rests in PIPW ministry. And so with that being said, I bring you all greetings. Amen. On behalf of PIPW ministry. Glory to God. Amen. And we are located in Raleigh, North Carolina. Yes, we are right here in the city of Raleigh. Amen. The state, North Carolina. Glory to God. And so we welcome you to our worship service every Sunday at 2 p.m. All right, every Sunday at 2 p.m., we are at the Ezra Center. If you type the Ezra Center in your navigation, it will bring you right to our church. Amen. God bless you, son Isaiah. I love you. Stay encouraged. Continue to prophesy. Hallelujah. Continue to live holy. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name. God bless you, son. Hope to see you Sunday. Glory to God. Hallelujah. There is a word from the Lord. Hallelujah. I love you, Sister Tracy. I really do. God knows I love you, woman of God. Um, there's a word from the Lord. Hallelujah. That I'm going to release tonight. Amen. That is going to encourage you, but it's also going to challenge you. Hallelujah. It's going to challenge you to continue to stand against the wiles of the devil. Do you hear me? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Yes. Glory to God. I love you, son, and I got you covered. Hallelujah. I'm praying for you. Continue to live right. Hallelujah. Because there is another level of elevation in the prophetic. Hallelujah. Prophet Isaiah's son. Amen. Stay connected to the ministry. Glory to God. And I come against all imposters. Hallelujah. Those that, that are rising up to, to try to befriend you. Prophet Isaiah, they're trying to connect to you. They're trying to befriend you. Be very careful. Learn to tell some people no in this season. Hallelujah. Because the oil cannot be wasted. Hey, shot. The oil that's on your life cannot be wasted in this season. Hallelujah. We're going to talk about the oil. So stay with me as long as you can. All right. I know sometimes you come in and come out. Stay with me. If you got to go, go, but come right back. Amen. Because we're going to talk about the oil on tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Facebook Live. Instagram, I'm sorry, Facebook Live, YouTube. Um, I'm going to be looking at all devices tonight. I'm going to be ministering the word of the Lord. And most of most of all, I'll be prophesying. Amen. So get your family on the live. Get your friends on this live. Hallelujah. Get those that you are connected to on this live tonight because there is a word from the Lord. God bless you, Angela. God bless you, Sister Tracy. Let me just greet a couple of y'all. God bless you, Sister Anita. Hallelujah. God bless you, Denise. Amen. Blessings to you all. Go ahead and click that share button. Tag a few people in the broadcast. What they say? Like, tag, and share. Like, tag, and share. Like, tag, and share. Hallelujah. Listen, I want to encourage those of you that are writers. Amen. Get your uh, notebooks. Get your journals. Hallelujah. Get your prayer journals. Amen. Our ministry has two different types of prayer journals. All right. For those of you that write, it's time to write. Hallelujah. It's time to write. Hear me in the Holy Ghost. It is time to write. Hallelujah. Some of you need to start writing because somebody is getting ready to read what you have written. Y'all don't hear me. Hallelujah. I said it's time to write. Amen. It's time to write. It's time to journal. So you can get our prayer journal or the fresh fire journal. 
Amen. You can inbox me and say, Apostle, I need to write. I need to journal. I need a journal immediately. All right. Inbox me, DM me. Let me know, amen, that you desire to purchase one of our prayer journals. All right. It's time to write, Angela. Come on. It's time to write. This is confirmation for many of you. Hallelujah. God says it's time to write. It's time to write. It's time to write. Hallelujah. It's time to write. Glory to God. The Bible says, glory to God, write the vision and make it plain. Hallelujah. So those who read the vision can run with the vision. There are many leaders in the body of Christ. Y'all need to start writing. Hallelujah. Because somebody is getting ready to come and read what you have written, what the Lord has given you. My God. Hallelujah. Somebody is getting ready to come. Hallelujah. And they're going to read it, Sister Anita. Hallelujah. The vision that God has given many of you is about to come to pass in 2024. Hallelujah. But you got to write it. Oh, sha. Hallelujah. You got to write the vision. You got to write it. God bless you, Pastor Kevin. God bless you. God bless you, my brother there in Philadelphia. You got to write it. You got to write it. Margaret says, how much are they? They are $10. That's it. $10. $10. You want to get you a journal from PIPW Ministry. Glory to God. And most of all, they are anointed. Amen. They've been prayed over and they are anointed. It's time to write. It's time to write. I can't stress it enough. Hallelujah. It's been in my spirit. Amen. Get your journals. Get your journals. All right, this is one type and this is the other. All right, we got the fresh fire. A lot of people love the fresh fire. Amen. And then we have the prayer journal. All right, get your, get your journals, get your journals. All right. And many of you need to get your blessed anointed oil. Get your oil. Hallelujah. Go into the new year with your oil. Come on. Hallelujah. Go into the new year with some blessed anointed oil. Two ounces, four ounces, your choice. Hallelujah. How much oil you need. Amen. Come on, somebody. I believe in the power of the oil. Hallelujah. Which the Old Testament speaks about the oil. Glory to God. How they anointed with the oil. Amen. And the elders prayed. Hallelujah. And healing began to manifest. Oh, God. This oil is powerful. But guess what? It's your faith. Hallelujah. It's your faith in God. Hallelujah. And the touching and agreeing with the oil. Hallelujah. That brings about the manifestation that you need God to do for you. Amen. Many have been healed. Hallelujah. From the blessed anointed oil. But it's your faith. Hallelujah. I'm telling you what I know. It's your faith in God. So you got small bottle. You got large bottle. All right. If you desire our ministry products, please inbox me. Okay. I need somebody to go ahead and post our website. I need you to post the ministry's website. If one of our members can go ahead on and post the website. Amen. Hallelujah. That would be greatly appreciated on tonight. Hallelujah. The song that you hear in the background is God is. Hallelujah. God is my all and all. Hallelujah. I said God is my all and all. Come on, somebody. I said God is my all and all. I don't know about nobody else tonight. Hallelujah. But some of you are caught up with the world. You are caught up with gifts. And don't get me wrong. My tree is full of gifts. Hallelujah. But let me tell you something. I ain't go broke. Uh, I did not go broke to buy my kids some Christmas gifts. I'm just saying. Yes, my tree is full with some gifts, but I ain't go broke to do it either. Okay. Amen. I did not go broke. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. To put a smile on my children's face. No, I did not. And so I want to encourage the parents. Let me tell you something. It's good to buy your child a book. Okay, if you want to get them something, buy them a book. Get them a, get them a coloring book. If you got children under the age of 12, can I help y'all out tonight? Hallelujah. If you got children under the age of 12, if you go to Dollar Tree, they have biblical coloring books. Y'all not going to talk back to me. You might say, Dad, Apostle, you going that low? No, I'm not going low. I'm going high. Because some of you need to, you got to teach your kids how to read. Oh, you trying to buy them a tablet and you want them to be on games all night long. No, they, they need to know how to read. They, they, they need the word of God. I know I'm going to lose some folk right here, but it's okay. Buy your child a book. 
Come on, get them a coloring book. Amen. They have biblical coloring books at the dollar store. Get them five. Get them ten. And say, hey, color. Come on, do you know when you color with your kids, you're building relationship? I used to color with my children all the time. And they used to be like, Dad, Mom, you really can color. I'm like, yeah, I can color. Come on, don't, don't get it twisted. <laughs> and I color in the lines. <laughs> Come on, Minister Adam. Hallelujah. But it taught my children. Hallelujah. And it gave them, hallelujah, the ability to be able to communicate. Amen. And to read. Come on, somebody. Because that's what our children need. Amen. Come on. Sister Nita said, I love the color. Come on. You're, yeah, yeah. I'm telling you, the dollar store got them. And they're biblical. They are biblical coloring books. I'm telling y'all, I love to get them. I get them for the children at our church too. Amen. Come on. Target sells youth um, biblical journals also. Come on. Come on. Amen. So, so you want to buy your kids a bunch of stuff for Christmas? Well, I know Christmas is Monday and some of y'all probably broke, broke by now. But the truth of the matter is, if you got some more gifts on the list, Take those 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 gifts off the list and buy your child a biblical coloring book. Get them some markers. Get them some color pencils. Come on. And if you're old school like me, you'll get them a box of 24 crayons. Huh? And actually sit down with them and color. See, I'm the prophet that people don't like, but I don't care. I really don't care. Because I'm telling you, it, it's going to bless your life. They say, there she go again. There she go again. No, I'm telling you what I do. And I'm telling you what works, parents. Y'all go broke buying your kids basketball sneakers. Now, don't get me wrong. If your child plays ball, then they need basketball sneakers. But I'm just saying, why spend $200 and $300 on some sneakers? And I say sneakers. I know y'all say track shoes here in the South. I understand. But I say sneakers. Why buy your kids sneakers? When first of all, they don't even deserve it. Their grades are below a C. Why are we going here tonight? I'm sorry. I'm going to talk about the oil in a minute. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And you got parents that are blaming the teachers, blaming the schools for this and blaming the schools for that. Well, if you ask the child that gets straight A's in school, that is quiet all the time. If you ask them, why are you quiet in school? If you ask that, that straight H A student child, if you ask the child in class why they not talking and why you're not disruptive, they'll tell you, my parents taught me. They, they'll tell you, my parents taught me to shut up. Ah, come on. We got to go back to the basics. Y'all not going to talk back to me. I still love you. I'm just saying, we got to go back to the basic because we have to save our children. We got to save our youth. Hallelujah. Don't let your kids be a statistic. Oh, shot. Come on. Don't let your kids be a statistic. Hello. Hello. Can anybody hear me? Can anybody hear me tonight? Hallelujah. And some may say, well, Pastor, you don't understand. Oh, I do understand. I come from the streets. I come from the hood. But, but it's a different mindset. Oh, shot. Hallelujah. It's a different mindset, right? Sister Margaret, thank you for hitting those hearts because you're the only one talking back to me. You and Sister Anita, y'all the only two that can get with me right here and it's okay. Hey, hallelujah, because somebody's child is going to be saved tonight. Somebody's child is going to be delivered tonight. You know why? Because you're going to put inside of them what it is that they need. Glory to God. You're going to be the one, hallelujah, to step up. Come on, parents. It's time to step up. Hallelujah. Put your kids in their rightful place. And it's time for you to tell your children what they're going to do. They're not going to tell you what you're going to do. You're not going to be tiptoeing around the house. Talking about you okay? You all right? Let me tell y'all something. When my oldest son started cutting up, hallelujah, and started slamming my doors. Who am I talking to? Let me tell y'all something. I went with the screwdriver, Sister uh, Maisha, and I took the door off the hinge. I told my son, you ain't going to slam another door in this house. I had a hard time getting the door back on, but I took that door off. And to this day, my son respects me the highest respect. To this day, my children respect me the highest respect. Hello? Hello? 
They might not be listening to everything that I told them to do. But guess what? The Bible says train up a child. In the way that he or she should go. And when they become old. Because they're going to get old now. Hey, I said your children going to get old. They will not depart from the way. I need y'all to share this broadcast. <laughs> I need y'all to click that share button for me. Come on, come on. We, we're going to talk about the oil in just a minute. Hallelujah. But I feel this so strong because it's Christmas time. And I want to say Merry Christmas to each and every one of you early. But just remember that Jesus is the reason for every season. Hallelujah. I just want to lay this, this foundation real quick. Jesus is the reason for every season. Amen. Now, I'm not going to sit up here and act like I don't have a Christmas tree. I'm not going to sit up here and act like it's not lit up. I'm not going to sit up here and act like it ain't a bunch of gifts under there because it is. All right. I I'm going to be honest. Amen. I'm a very honest person. I'm an honest woman of God. But I will say this. Giving should be all year around. And if you don't have it, you just don't have it. Amen. But we celebrate Jesus all year around. In other words, we celebrate the death. We celebrate the birth. We celebrate the birth, the death, and the resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ all year around. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And so somebody may say, well, Apostle, it's a pagan holiday. I get it. You can call me a pagan worshiper if you want to. It is what it is. This is just something that I've been doing in my house that I'm going to continue to do. And I'm going to celebrate it. And that's it. It is what it is. You can condemn me now. You can condemn me later. It's all right. But I'm very honest. I'm not going to sit up here and say that I don't celebrate Christmas, that I don't celebrate Resurrection Sunday because I do. Amen. And some may say, well, how can you preach holiness and how can you preach the word, but you celebrate pagan holidays? Well, it is what it is. And God has not convicted me to that point to where I don't get a tree, to where I don't buy gifts. So I'm being honest because some of y'all might be looking at me sideways. But I am a prophet of God, and I do have your message tonight. So I want to say to everybody, Merry Christmas. <laughs> Hallelujah. Merry Christmas. Amen. And if you're in the Raleigh, North Carolina area, we would love for you to come fellowship with us Sunday, which is the day before Christmas. Hi, Malachi. God bless you. Come to our, ch our church. Come to our worship service this Sunday at 2 p.m. All right. We also will be having church again on the first, all right, which will be the very, the very beginning of the year, all right? So, yes, we're not having watch night service, all right? There will, there will not be watch, watch night service. And let me turn this music down just a little bit, all right, because I'm a real pastor, <laughs> okay? We will not have watch night service. Majority of the people talking about the prophets do not have nothing to talk about. Amen, amen. So... I want to tell the church, PIPW ministry, we would not have watch night service. And the reason why is because God told me to not have the children out. That's what he told me. And we have a lot of children in our ministry. So we would not have a watch night service um, December 31st going into January 1st. But we will be in the building. All right. January the 1st at 2 p.m. All right. So the first day of the year, according to the calendar. We will be in the building. All right. So you're welcome to come this Sunday. You're welcome to come next Sunday. I got some inbox messages from some um, some um, people who used to fellowship with us. They're going to come out and fellowship with us this Sunday and next Sunday. So with that being said, you are welcome to come to the Ezra Center to fellowship with us. We would love to have you come. Amen. And enjoy Jesus with us. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name, glory to God. Listen, I want to also say um, on tonight, before we dive into the word of the Lord, I want to tell you all that it is still Freedom Friday. Amen. Some of you, it is 1035. Some of you, it's 1135. Well, every Friday, I have a Freedom Friday message. And I want to give you the Freedom Friday message, all right? And the Freedom Friday message is, God said that it's okay for you to start over. 
Hallelujah. He said, get free from the past. Glory to God. For many of you are being robbed of your, of your future because you're holding on to the past. Amen. You cannot, hallelujah, you cannot walk in the new door. You cannot uh, walk in the new beginnings if you are holding on to past relationships. Amen. Uh, uh, past um, previous connections with that God told you to sever from, you will not step into the new. All right. So God, hallelujah, is giving many of you time, amen, to, to, to disconnect, amen, to disconnect, glory to God, and to sever the tie with old connections. Hear me in the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. And these connections, though, are toxic. These connections have caused you heartache in 2023. Who am I talking to? Glory to God. You know it's toxic. You know it's no longer going to be anything that's beneficial to your life naturally, spiritually, emotionally. Come on, physically. You know it's over. It has caused you heartache. Hallelujah. That's how you know. Amen. My oven is going off, y'all. Because I got some baked macaroni and cheese in the oven. I love the cooking night. Hallelujah. I'm sorry. But I got to get up in a second to turn the oven off. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. And so God says for you to let it go. Amen. He said, he said, tell them that it's over now. He said, let go of what was. Let go of what was. Hallelujah. Let go of what was. Because what was is trying to come back into your life, Sister Margaret. And God said, let go of what was. He says, it's over now. He said, look for the new. Hallelujah. Look for the new. And I know, people of God, that sometimes you want to hold on to what's comfortable. You want to hold on to what is familiar because something that is familiar, it's easy to deal with. Come on. Hallelujah. But God says for me to tell many of you tonight on Instagram, on uh, YouTube, on Facebook Live, he told me to tell you, and thank you all for sharing the broadcast. He told me to tell you tonight, hallelujah, that as you let go of the old connection that is literally killing you from the inside out, you're going to feel free. You're going to feel lighter. Hallelujah. And many of you want to go into the new year feeling lighter. You want to go into the new year getting ready to walk in the promise. God bless you, Sonia. Hallelujah. That the, that the Lord has just for you. So he says, in this new door and new opportunity is a new mindset. I want to stay here for just a minute. It's a new mindset. Hallelujah. I was talking to somebody the other day. God bless you, Sister Stacy. I love you and I'm praying for you. Amen. Listen, I was talking to someone the other day and the person's mindset hasn't changed. And it's been years. It has literally been years. And I'm just on the phone listening and I'm like, you didn't change at all. You, you want to step into something new, but you still talking the same. Which means if a person is still talking the same, I hope I'm helping somebody right here. Not only are they, they living the same, the same way, they have no desire to change. Come on, they, they have no desire to change. And so when a person has no desire to change, ah, they might tell you that they want better. They might tell you they're ready for bigger. Oh, y'all not gonna talk back to me tonight. They, they might tell you that they had dreams and you know, they got goals and ambitions, but if you don't see them doing anything different, their mindset hasn't changed. It is what it is. Now, only God, hallelujah, can change a person's mind. Only God can change a person's heart. Okay, think about you. Amen. Come on, think, think about you. Think about when God came into your life. Come on, hallelujah. And how he, how he began to change your mind and change your thoughts and your thought pattern began to change. Hallelujah. To the obedience of Christ, right? Come on. So, so because of that, guess what? The sinner got to do the same. I'm just saying. And some of you are connected to sinners. Can I help you right here? The Bible says... Oh, I'm, I'm going to get in trouble right here. Y'all ready? The word of God tells us those that are holy, be holy still. Those that are unholy, be unholy still. 
Those that are pure, remain pure. Oh, y'all not going to talk back to me. And those that are unclean, y'all can stay unclean. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh, oh y'all not going to talk back to me. Hallelujah. The Bible is very clear. In other words, if God has cleaned you up, I know I lost a few people right there. If God has cleaned you up, you got to stay clean. Come on, come on, come on. If God, hallelujah, has cleaned you up, you got to stay clean. Glory to God. Hallelujah. If God, hey, shot, hallelujah, has purified your, your thought pattern, you got to stay pure in your mindset. Because if not, the enemy is coming to contaminate your mind. His job is to make you go backwards. His job, hallelujah, now I'm in my message. His job is to contaminate your spirit. So how does he do it? Through your mind. As a man thinketh in his heart, so is he. It all starts right here. It all starts right here. Some may say, no, it starts with your mouth. No, it starts with your mind. Hallelujah. Because once the mindset, oh God, has shifted, glory to God, whether it's to the obedience of Christ or disobedience to the word of God, then your body is going to follow. The body is going to follow what the mind is thinking. This is why Jesus says, God bless you, Sister Lashante. This is why Jesus says, hallelujah, let this mind be in you, which was also in Christ Jesus. Come on, let this mind, I need y'all to share this broadcast. Are y'all sharing tonight? Come on, click that share button. Tag a few people into the broadcast, amen? Come on, I need somebody to share it also in our ministry group. I need somebody to share this, this broadcast into um, the committee group. Come on, if you're in the committee group, share it. Come on, if you're in the, the intercessory group, messenger, share the broadcast, all right? I need y'all to go ahead and share and get the ministry into the live. Come on. Hallelujah. God was dealing with me. And this is a sidebar. I want to give this to some of you. God was dealing with me about my ministry and even those that are members and covenant partners. The Lord been dealing with me about the members and covenant partners. And this is exactly what he said. He said the time is going to come where they're going to miss out. And those who are ready to hear the authentic word of the Lord are going to receive it. And I said, well, Lord, don't let them miss it. That was my prayer, Sister Lashante. I said, don't let those, <clears throat> I said, God, please don't let those who are connected to the ministry already, don't let them miss it. Please don't let them miss it, God. And he told me there, there are people that are hungry for the word. Hallelujah. There are people that are hungry, glory to God, for, for a move of God, and they're getting ready to receive it. Amen. They're getting ready to receive it. So PIPW ministry, those of you that still holding on, you better hold on. Because I'm telling you what I know. I'm telling you what I know, saints. Hallelujah. And this is not just PIPW ministry. You have a lot of pastors who are praying for the members because the enemy is sending distractions. Hallelujah. There's so many distractions. Y'all not going to talk back to me tonight. It's the night of the prophetic. So we're going to flow tonight. Is that all right? Hallelujah. Glory to God. So, so what's taking place, hallelujah, is that many people are distracted. They, they're, they're losing focus on what's important. Y'all not going to talk back to me tonight, but I'm going to keep on talking. So you got to stay. Thank you, Sister Latoya, for sharing in the groups. You got to stay focused on God. You got to stay focused. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord, I hear you. The Lord says it's time for me to disconnect from some people that are just watching and have no desire to receive. I hear you, Holy Ghost. Wow. Wow. Jesus, have mercy. I just heard that. In, I just heard that. Wow. There are some people that are still connected to my page, Sister Anita, but they hate the ministry. They hate me. I hear you, Holy Ghost. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. And they'll act like they are still connected. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. This going to bless some leaders right here. Because God said it's time to disconnect. Wow. Wow. If you know somebody got it out for you, if you know they don't like you, if you know, oh, sha, hallelujah. If you know they are no longer connected to you, God says he's given you the ability to sever the tie. Say we're going to pause and think about that for a minute. 
Hallelujah. Let me go ahead on and turn this oven off. Y'all stay right here, okay? And Facebook, I do not own the rights to the music that is playing, all right? I do not own the rights to the music that's playing. Oh, yeah, Sister Maisha. Yeah, yeah, you're you, you going to catch it in a minute. Hallelujah. You're going to catch it in a minute. Because once you have gotten to a place where, and this is for those that are secretly watching and have, the, have, have malice in their heart. When a person secretly watches you and have malice in their heart concerning you, that malice is continuing to, to spill over. It's not stopping because the enemy's job is to make you become jealous. The enemy's job is to make you uh, forfeit what it is that God has for you. <laughs> so he will cause you to dislike a person or to dislike a ministry or to dislike a vessel of God just because. It might be an incident. It might be something that was said. And he'll magnify it. But his job is to distract you. Glory to God. So that. Ah, oh, this is good right here. The enemy's job is to distract you. So that you get off focus. And you can't really see who the enemy is. Or who the enemy is working through. I'll be right back. <laughs> Y'all give me a minute. I'll be right back. Stay right there. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, bless your name, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right. The man of God says confirmation. There it is. Amen. There it is. I knew it. Was, I knew it was for somebody. Amen. Y'all bear with me for one minute here. Glory to God. Just bear with me for one moment. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. We're going to dive in. I, I need y'all to turn to Matthew uh, 25. If you'll be so kind tonight to turn to Matthew 25 for me. Ooh, hallelujah. Yes, God. Bear with me for one moment here. Yes, Lord. Yes, God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. Y'all stay right there. Just stay right there for me. We're going to dive into the word in just a minute. I got to send this message real quick. Glory to God. Thank you, Lord. Those of you that are still on with me tonight, if you'll be so kind to go ahead and click that share button. Amen. Just click that share button. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Yes, Lord. There's somebody on the live. Amen. The Lord is telling me to tell you while I'm actually doing something else. Amen. There's somebody on the live. God told me to tell you that it's all going to make sense. It's about to make sense. It's all about to make sense. God said, don't try to figure it out. Hallelujah. There's somebody that's been overthinking. Amen. It looks like. It looks like. Um, give me one moment here. It looks like Facebook is messing up. Oh, there it is. All right, it looked like it took us back to one person. Amen. The connection is messing up for whatever reason. Yes, Lord. We're going to dive in in just a moment. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. All right. Facebook is um, chipping out. Keeps ch uh, chiming out. Okay. All right. Yes. Yeah, so it looks like we have some more people on Facebook. I'll try to stay on Facebook. But it looks like the internet connection is jumping, actually. It looks like it's jumping. Um, hallelujah. I want to um, encourage that person that is overthinking. God says that it's going to make sense. And I believe it's Instagram. That's why I'm looking this way over here. It's about to make sense. It's all about to make sense. Hallelujah. It's like you're at the final end of the, the trial. You're at the final end of it. And it's like it is it is finally coming to an end. Uh, what you have been believing God to 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 do to do, but it's like the process, amen, it, it, it took a little bit longer than what you expected, amen, so God says, he, he wants me to tell you that it's coming to an end, and it's going to make sense very, very soon, it's going to make sense to you why, hallelujah, why the wait has been so long, it's going to make sense to you, and even those on Facebook and YouTube, Hallelujah. It's about to make sense. Glory to God. It's about to make sense. Listen, it's a night of the prophetic. So I'm going to be flowing in the prophetic. I'm just going to speak what God told me to speak. Listen, I said it earlier, but it's time to write. It's time to write. It's time to write. It's time to write. These are prayer journals. Go to our website and get your prayer journal. All right. It's time to write. It's time to write. Hallelujah. There are many of you that have stopped writing. It's time to write. Amen. And I got plenty of journals. Listen, I got a whole box. Okay, so you can either get the fresh fire or you can get the regular prayer journal. All right, but get your prayer journals. Amen. I will send it out to you on Tuesday. But if you purchase it tonight, I'll send it out tomorrow. Amen. I'll go to the post office. Listen, we're going to dive right into the word. And it looks like, okay, can y'all hear me on Facebook? Is it clear? It says it keeps freezing. Somebody says it keeps freezing. Okay, I see some hearts. Okay, I see some hearts. That means yes. That means yes. <laughs> Can you type and let me know? Can you hear me clear on Facebook? Okay. She says, I see you now. Okay, awesome. Wonderful. We'll stay right here. If it keeps glitching, we'll jump off and we'll go to... Um, Instagram. All right, we'll go to Instagram. Amen. Oh, it's clear now? Awesome. Okay, wonderful, wonderful. Let's turn to Matthew 25. Hallelujah. And, and you know, I'm not the type of person or the, 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 the prophet that's going to address everything that's going on in the body of Christ. But I will say this. Um, with the T.D. Jake situation and even the leaders that are being exposed, um, it has been said that it's alligated. So it has not been proven um, that is exactly what he did. So my advice to the body of Christ is to keep your mouth closed until you have the facts. One thing we got to understand, hallelujah, um, about sin is this. And I'm so glad that God delivered me when he did. But not only that, I'm so glad that when he delivered me, before he delivered me, Sister Anita, he covered me. See, huh, Jesus, have mercy. I'm about to help about five of y'all out right here. When God delivered me, he covered me. So what does that look like? What does that look like? He gave me time to even want to come out. He put it in me as I read his word. Hallelujah. As I attended church. Come on. As I obeyed leadership. Y'all not going to talk back to me. As I served the Lord in ministry. Hallelujah. God dealt with me about my sin. So every person has to deal with that. In other words, we can't point the finger at nobody. Now, if, if, if that's what happened with the man of God, then it's a shame. You, you understand? But there are a lot of homosexuals in the body of Christ. You know, there's a lot of, uh, see, see, that's what I'm saying. If, if I was to go there, I could go there. But we're not going to go there. God bless you, Sister Ashley. 
we're not going to go there tonight. But what I wanted to say about it is this. Keep your mouth closed and pray. Keep your mouth closed and pray. Amen. Keep your mouth shut and pray. The experience that I had with Bishop T.D. Jakes, I was at a women, I was at a women on the front line conference. No, the threshing floor. I was at the threshing floor conference with Prophetess Juanita Bynum. And he was a speaker. He was one of the speakers at the conference. And I remember him prophesying. I was on the third balcony. I was on a third balcony. I don't think y'all hear me. I was on the third balcony of the Georgia Dome when Bishop T.D. Jakes had prophesied and he said, I don't know who I'm talking to or who this is for. He said, but God told me to tell you that when you get back home, your son is going to be delivered. That was one word, Sister Ashley. So now the prophet got my attention. I'm like, wait a minute, hold on. I left my son at home, but he was in a mental hospital. Hold on. Wait. And I'm praying and believing God to deliver my son by the time I get back home. I said, okay, so that was one word. Then Bishop T.D. Jakes began to say, when you were riding behind the ambulance, you didn't know whether to pray or whether to cry, whether to pray or whether to cry, whether to pray. And that's when I just lost it because that's exactly what happened when they sister ashley i was riding behind the ambulance when they decided to 302 my son and i didn't know whether to pray or whether to cry when i tell y'all it was word for word verbatim exactly what i went through and here I am on the third balcony of the Georgia Dome, little old me. And I had just told one of the ladies that I was with from Virginia Beach. I had met about, what was it, 32 women. It was supposed to be 33 of them. I just so happened to make up the 33rd woman. In other words, it was 32 women from Virginia Beach that had went to the conference. And I had ran into five of them on the elevator the night before this night and they knew exactly what i was believing god for because i shared it with them so when bishop td jakes began to prophesy they tapped me like wait a minute hold on we just had this conversation and they began to praise god with me for deliverance for my son that's why you got to be careful when you put your mouth on somebody. When you say somebody is not a true prophet, come on, hallelujah. Or just because they have stumbled and just because they have fallen does not mean, hallelujah, that, that, that what they have prophesied or what they have done, hallelujah, in the spirit of Christ is not real. Come on. Because it was true. It was 100% true. Not only that. Because it was three points to the word. The first one was, God said he's going to deliver your son by the time you get back home. The second word that he released, glory to God, was that you didn't know when you were riding behind the ambulance, whether to pray or whether to cry, whether to pray or whether to cry. That was me. Because at one time I'm drying my eyes and next thing you know I'm worrying. Come on, then I started praying. Then I started crying. Then I started praying. Then I started crying. I was like, God, I don't know how this is going to work out. I don't even know how this situation is going to come to an end. God, I really don't know. Come on. That was me. And then the third thing that he said was the way that you're going to know, huh? That your son, hallelujah. And he didn't say child. Now at this time he says son. In the beginning he said when you get back your child is going to be delivered. Hallelujah. Deeper in the prophecy the third thing was he said, your son is going to be delivered. And the way that you're going to know that your son is delivered by the time you get back home is that everything that they said that he was, you're going to see that he is not. You're going to see a drastic change by the time you get back home. And that's going to be an indication that your son is delivered. Well, three days later. 
after the conference when I went home and I finally made it to the hospital to go see my son. My son, hallelujah, was actually teaching another child how to read. That was the first thing. His behavior has shifted and changed so. And the nurse said to me, she said, I'm so glad that you were able to go to the conference because I had told them. And if you know anything about a mental ward, the parent is not supposed to leave out of state. But God gave me favor. See, I really know God. I don't, I don't know about some of y'all. Some of y'all say y'all got a relationship with God. And I'm not bragging, but I'm just saying. Some of the stuff that God did for me, Prophet Cedric, I could write a book. I can write, I can write books on testimonies of what God has done for me. Hallelujah. That nurse, she told me, she said, I'm so glad that you went to that conference that you went to. She said, because there was a change. She said, there was a change in your son. Hallelujah. She said, we don't know what. Woo, God. Hallelujah. She said, we don't know what happened. She said, but we just know something happened to. Listen, y'all, I shouted on that third balcony. Let me tell you something. I shouted, hallelujah, Prophet Cedric. I shouted till I couldn't shout no more. I gave God, hallelujah, as, as Bishop T.D. Jakes was prophesying, I gave God my best praise. Do you hear me? Hallelujah. I think I stepped on some people's toes, too. I'm just saying, I was shouting, hallelujah, in the name of Jesus. And the ladies who I had, I had told about my situation, they were praising God with me. Hallelujah. Y'all don't understand. Glory to God. Sometimes, oh, shot. This is why I'm adamant when it comes to parents standing in the gap for their children. Hey, hallelujah, because I know what it's like. Glory to God to have to stand in proxy for your child. Hallelujah. I'm all the way in Atlanta and my son is all the way in Pennsylvania. Hallelujah. But I'm giving God praise because the word was spoken over my son. Hallelujah. Glory to God. But I went. Hallelujah, Sister Maisha. When I went to the conference, I went because I needed a miracle from God. Hey, shot. Hallelujah. I needed God to do something for me that I couldn't do for myself. Y'all not going to talk back to me. Sometimes you got to go the distance. Hallelujah. Sometimes you got to step out on faith. Hallelujah. And guess what? The nurse told me, she said, we're not supposed to let you go. She said, because if something happens to your son, we are 100% liable. And we need three people that can come, hallelujah, to, to speak on your behalf if something happens to your son. And I gave that nurse three names. And I said, my mom, my dad, and my auntie. I said, guess what? There you go, right there. I said, if something happens to my son while I'm not here, I said, all three of them can make a decision. Well, let me tell y'all something. Ain't nothing bad happened to my son. God delivered my son. Hallelujah. When I got back, the Lord delivered my son. And the nurse, I don't even know why I'm sharing this. Hallelujah. But yes, Lord, I hear you. I got to be obedient to God. Let, let me encourage some of you right here. Hallelujah. And let me, oh, shot. Hallelujah. Let me encourage you, people of God, right here. Hallelujah. The fact that the nurse let me go to the conference was an indication that God was getting ready to do something. Because she could have lost her license. Oh, y'all not going to talk back to me. I'm already in my message. Listen, she could have lost her license. But when God is getting ready to move in your life, hallelujah, let me tell you something, hallelujah, everything that you need is already there, hallelujah, listen, the nurses was like, go ahead, you're going to be all right, listen, if something happens, we got enough referrals, hallelujah, we got enough people in place, amen, to be able to help you with your son, glory to God, hallelujah, and I remember Thank you, Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. I remember, amen, being in the room that night before. Hallelujah. And I cried out to God. Let me tell y'all something. I was crying out to the Lord for my son's deliverance. Hallelujah. For my son's healing. Hallelujah. And I said, God, if you let me make it to Atlanta, Georgia. Hallelujah. If you go, oh God. Hallelujah. God, you let me make it to this place so that I can hear from you. So that I can receive from you. I said, Lord, I thank you in advance. Hallelujah. So it was the prayer. It was my faith. And it was my praise. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I, I'm going to say it again. It was the prayer. Hallelujah. Because I had to pray. Hallelujah. It was my faith. 
Glory to God. And it was my praise. Hey, shot. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. That brought my son out. And let me tell y'all something. Glory to God. His time was cut. They said, listen, they said, Miss Bryant, at the time I was Bryant, that's my maiden name. Listen, at the time they said, Miss Bryant, you could take him home in, in the next three days. Glory to God. I mean, he was doing so much better. My son was in there teaching the kids about God. Hallelujah. He was teaching them how to read. He was teaching some of the kids in the mental hospital how to write. Glory to God, because it was kids in there who, who didn't know how to write. They didn't know how to read. And they was like, oh, my gosh. The nurses was like, your son is a blessing in here. Hallelujah. They was like, wait a minute. We can't diagnose him with what, what they're saying he has. So then I can hear the prophecy ringing in my ear from Bishop T.D. Jakes that the way that you're going to know that your son is delivered by the time you get back. Hallelujah. You're going to hear that there is a change. And sure enough, there was a change. I'm telling y'all, I thank God. Hallelujah. I bless the Lord. Hallelujah. I said, I thank God. For deliverance for my son i don't know who needed to hear that i don't even know why god had me to share that testimony amen but but there are indications when god is moving when god is moving you gotta know that he already set it up for you can i give you all an example sometimes god will send you to a church where there's healing and there's deliverance sister latoya but you gotta stay there Hallelujah. You got to stay, hallelujah, connected to where God wants you to be so that you can get what it is that he has for you. A lot of times, Sonia, a lot of times, Tracy, God will place people in our life. Hallelujah. So, so that we can get what we need from God. Can somebody shout, it's not personal. Hey, can somebody shout, it's not personal. Listen, sometimes we think it's personal, Sister Lashante. That's why I'm very careful. Hallelujah. When I connect to people, when I connect to prophets, hallelujah, I don't take it lightly. Glory to God. That's why when they start talking about Bishop T.D. Jakes, I immediately had a memory of when God used him, hallelujah, to bring my son out, hallelujah, to help deliver me as God was healing my son. Y'all don't understand. Hallelujah. It's dangerous to put your mouth on an anointed vessel when you really don't know the truth. Now, if it comes out that he's been doing things he had no business doing, then that's his business. That's between him and God. And some people may say, well, he got a mega church. He got a mega ministry. So what? So what? And most of the time, it's people that have never pastored. Come on, y'all not going to talk back to me. It's always those that never, never covered anybody. Come on. Hallelujah. This man has raised up millionaires in his ministry. Come on. He has helped feed the homeless and clothe the naked. Glory to God. And so I'm not taking up for Bishop T.D. Jakes. I'm just saying, hallelujah, it's dangerous to touch God's anointed. Hallelujah. Prayerfully, what is said about him is not the truth. But if it is, that's between him and God. He's going to have to sit down from being a bishop. He's going to have to sit down from being a pastor. He's probably going to have to close the doors of his church or have somebody else take over the ministry. That's between him and God. But when God has used somebody to help deliver you, I can't stress this enough. Don't you dare put your mouth on them. Like God didn't use that person to help you. I was teaching in a prophetic class the other night. God uses people. And one thing the church has forgotten is that God uses people. I'm going to say it again. God uses people. No, we don't lift people up on a pedestal. We lift up God. We lift up Jesus. But guess what? It's Jesus that's in that person. Oh, sha. Come on, somebody. It's the anointing that is in that person that is helping you. So don't get it twisted. <laughs> Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Don't get it twisted. And so many people get things twisted. Come on. That's why God uses people despite their faults, Sister Stacy. Because guess what? Even in my mess. Let me tell you something. And even in my sin, God used me, hallelujah, to still heal. 
Hallelujah. And deliver people. Glory to God. See, my sin was between me and God. Y'all not going to talk back to me. We're we going to go a little bit deeper tonight. I was just going to touch it and just move on. Hallelujah. But I, I feel this thing. I feel it. Hallelujah. You know why? Glory to God. Because this is why you got to be careful when you are in your sin. You can't judge the next person. Come on. The Bible says he without sin cast the first stone. Hallelujah. And guess what, people of God? We have no right to cast a stone because guess what? We don't know when that person is going to repent. Hallelujah. This might be the breaking point for T.D. Jakes. Who knows? We don't know. It's between him and God. Hallelujah. This is why when I'm praying for somebody, hallelujah, especially someone who has fallen deep in sin. Oh, shot. I'm giving God praise as I'm praying for them. You know why? Because they're getting ready to come out. It took somebody praying for me and praying for my deliverance. Hallelujah. So that I could come out. Hey. Hallelujah. When I met my former pastor, I was thanking God so much because you know what I said, Sister Stacy? I said, now I can be delivered. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Because the church that I was a part of before that, the pastor couldn't see my sin. Come on. The, the pastor couldn't see my sin. And it didn't take away from his vision or take away from his insight or take away from the prophetic that was on him. It's just God sent me to that church to get my foundation in the word. Hallelujah. And to get saved for real, for real. And get filled with the Holy Ghost. Oh, y'all not going to talk back to me. Hallelujah. And then God sent me to my former pastor so that I could get delivered and learn the way of holiness. See, that's why when people come to PIPW ministry, they get delivered instantly. Hallelujah. God bless you, Sister Sean. Amen. They get they get delivered instantly. Oh, hallelujah. Because deliverance and healing is a part of this ministry. No judgment. No, no judgment zone. Hallelujah. It's not even it's not even for that. <laughs> hallelujah. Because when you come to God, hallelujah, and you want to be free. Ha, huh? glory to God. He will free you. Come on, but you got to want to be free. Glory to God. You, you got to want to be delivered. You got to want to be healed. Hallelujah. And this is why I thank God the moment when he delivered me. Hallelujah. Because guess what? I didn't deserve it. I didn't deserve deliverance. But he gave it to me because my heart was right. Hallelujah. My heart was in the right place. I remember I got delivered on a Friday night, y'all. I don't know why God is taking me here. We're going to talk about Matthew chapter 25 in just a minute. I got delivered on a Friday night. It was a Friday night service. And I remember Monday, well, after church on Sunday, Monday came. I started not liking what I was doing. I was like, I was like, this got to stop. I was like, Lord, I, I, I can't keep doing this. And God, I know I'm displeasing you. I know that you called me, God. And I know that I am your child. I can no longer continue to do this. So Monday, I didn't like what I was doing. Tuesday, I didn't like what I was doing. By the time Wednesday came, I said, Lord, I can't wait for church on Friday. I said, God, I'm ready to give up everything. I said, I can no longer live like this and still try to serve you and, and be a hypocrite. See, it was, it was personal. Hallelujah. It was personal. I don't know who I'm helping right here, but I believe a few of you need to hear this tonight. It was personal. And so it was between me and God. Hallelujah. But I realized, for those of you that struggle with sexual sin, let me help you right here. I realized that I was grieving the Holy Spirit. I realized, Alanda said, this is for me. Amen. I realized that at any moment, his spirit could step out of me because I was doing wrong with my body. Y'all not going to talk back to me tonight. YouTube, Instagram, Facebook Live. I realized I was doing wrong with my body. And I realized that my body was the temple of the Holy Spirit. So the moment I realized I was doing wrong with my body, I had to now yield myself to the spirit of God. And I said, Lord, I need you to deliver me. 
And guess what? My pastor knew without me saying anything. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. My pastor knew without me saying anything. Glory to God. Hallelujah. That Friday night, I still served. Amen. I still worked the altar. Glory to God because I had a position in the church. Can I help somebody? And I remember my pastor looking at me. And when she turned and looked at me, oh, I already knew. I already knew what was going to happen. But in my spirit, hallelujah, I, I just couldn't continue, Sister Stacy. I couldn't continue, Sister Latoya, Sister Lashante. I just couldn't continue to be in that place any longer. Ah, glory to God. It, it wasn't even about the men. It wasn't even about um, my situation. It wasn't even about a relationship I was in. It was about me and God. Hallelujah. And that's what I want to reiterate. Even as I'm talking, I want to let some of you know it's between you and God. It ain't got nothing to do with that man. And for the men that's struggling with fornication, it ain't got nothing to do with that woman. Hallelujah. It's between you and God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And let me, let me encourage you right here. Getting married ain't going to help it either. Up. Shot. Can I, can I just help somebody right here? Because some of y'all thinking, oh, if I just get married, I'll be okay. No, 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 no. This is why the Apostle Paul said it is better to marry than to burn. But guess what? Here's the revelation in that. If you ain't ready, just don't marry. Don't, don't, don't marry the wrong person. Listen, wait. Hallelujah. Wait on God. Amen. Wait, wait on the Lord. The Bible says, wait on God and be of good courage and he will strengthen your heart. Amen. Because when you marry, listen, if you don't wait to marry and you marry, you might marry wrong. I did it. I did it. I did it. I, I can be honest. Amen. Come on, somebody. And it won't work. I, I can tell you. Hallelujah. So if I got to share my testimony to save about seven of you from marrying the wrong person or going down the wrong path to God be the glory. Wait on God. Learn how to be content. Learn how to love on Jesus. Hallelujah. And let him love on you. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Enjoy his presence. Hey, sha. see, that's it right there. Men of God and women of God. Enjoy God's presence. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Welcome. Oh, this is good right here. Welcome the Holy Spirit into your day. Welcome God. Hallelujah. Into your space. Welcome him into your home. Hallelujah. And guess what? You will long to commune with him. You, listen, listen, when you get to the place where God frees you, hallelujah, you won't, you won't desire fleshly things anymore hallelujah you won't desire amen the wrong person to touch you oh help me holy ghost holy ghost is teaching tonight because guess what the wrong touch can lead you down a pathway that you listen so you'll get to the place where you say i don't even desire to be touched Listen, it's 12, 18. We can stay right here. Shouldn't be no kids on here anyway. Amen. Hallelujah. It's raw and uncut right here tonight. Amen. You'll get to the place to where you say, I don't even desire to be touched. Amen. Amen. You'll get to the place to where you say, Lord, keep me pure until that time. See, you'll get to the place where you say, God, keep me pure. Listen, God, teach me how to love myself. So that when the person comes, I can love them. Because see, when you're caught up in sexual sin, that's all you want. And then it gets worse. Because if the person don't, don't please you or satisfy you sexually the way you want them to, now you want to the next person. That's how you become a whore. That's how you become a whoremonger. I hope I'm helping somebody right here. I'm just saying. <laughs> all right. And you don't want to be like that. Being a child of God. You, you don't want to have that labeled on you. Hallelujah. So you desire deliverance. Amen. You ask God to free you. You ask God to deliver you. Hallelujah. And he will deliver you. Please turn with me. Matthew uh, 25. I can't stay on too long tonight. Because we'll be on for another couple hours. If I stay right there. Amen. But I pray tonight that those of you that want to be delivered. Get to a place where you can be delivered. Listen, go to a ministry where deliverance is. 
Let me tell you something. And this is the problem with the church as a whole. People don't want to be honest about their struggles. Let me tell you something. Sometimes you got to go the distance to get your freedom. Sometimes you got to go the distance to get your deliverance. So, sometimes you just got to sit in a ministry where deliverance is and get what you need from God. I'm talking to the desperate folk. We're, we're the desperate folk. We're those of you that say, I can't continue to stay in sin in 2023, crossing into 2024. Where you at tonight? I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to those of you. You are tired of going around the same mountain and you like it has to be it got to be better than this like i can't keep falling hallelujah come on where are you at tonight because i can tell you that god will keep you hallelujah but but you're going to have to get to a place mentally where you want to be kept hallelujah which means you rebuke all forms of temptation Come on, you 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 get to the place to where your discernment is heightened. Tracy says me. Amen. Thank you for the honesty. Alanda says me. Amen. You'll get to the place to where your your spirit man is longing God and your flesh is dying. See, our flesh dies when our spirit man is fed. When we're feeding our spirit the flesh is dying. So the enemy's job is to make you feed the flesh so that you can stay in your flesh. Come on. I learned this in holiness, right? So holiness, in holiness, you are you are taught to, number one, cover yourself. I want to help the ladies right here. The Bible says dress modest and adorn yourself. Come on, I just want to teach holiness real quick. Some don't know it. The moment you become seductive with your clothing, the moment you become seductive, now your spirit is saying, I'm here, I'm available, do you want me? And a man's nature, men are, vis are, visual, are, visual, mm. men are visual, so they, they like what they see, okay? A man cannot stop, he can't stop his eyes, <laughs> all right? Men cannot, without holiness, no man shall see the Lord. That's right. So men are visual, all right? And so because men are visual, they can't stop the fact that if they see a, a beautiful woman, they like, oh, she beautiful. Oh, my gosh, you know? Now, that doesn't mean that he'll lust after her, but men know beauty. They know real beauty. And they just like, oh, she's beautiful, right? But when we carry ourselves, ladies, as, can I just say the word, vulnerable, or we, we carry ourselves as desperate, or we carry ourselves as hoochies, <laughs> I'm, trying, I'm trying to break it down the best way I can. I'm trying to be nice. Well, I don't want to say whores, but I'm just saying it's in the Bible, right? So when we, when we display our flesh and a man likes what he sees, Men are predators, so they they they're gonna go for what they like. I mean, you know, unless the Holy Spirit is has him to yield his flesh. But nine times out of ten, if you show it, a man is gonna want it. I hope that I hope I helped y'all, ladies. <laughs> now, if you're beautiful, you can't help that. All right, if if you're beautiful, you can't help that. All right, beauty is just that beauty. If you're beautiful inside and out, you really can't help that either. Amen. So a lot of beautiful women struggle. I hope I'm helping somebody. You struggle with the fact of waiting because you're beautiful. Am I helping somebody tonight? If I'm helping you, just hit the hearts. And some may say, well, Pastor, I'm not that beautiful. But, well, you might have a nice body. You might have a nice shape. Okay? So in holiness, we learn to cover ourselves according to the word of God. So I thank God that I was connected to a ministry that taught me how to cover myself. All right. I was always classy. In other words, I, I never carried myself like a, like a, like a, even when I was in the world, I just, you know, I just, I just didn't like the attention. So I didn't really never carry myself um, loose. Yeah, that's a good word. I, I wasn't a loose goose, you know? 
So with that being said, when I came into holiness, I thank God because it just taught me that I need to learn how to cover myself, you know? So ladies, you got to cover yourself. If you start wearing tight jeans and your cleavage is showing, I'm just saying, can I just teach real quick? It doesn't take away from your beauty, but just know that a man is out there watching. And if you keep showing it, he's going to go for it, right? So if a man goes for it, now you are open, all right? As I teach the ladies in our ministry and I teach the women at our conferences, our women conferences, men are receivers. I'm sorry, women are receivers and men are givers. I don't know why we're going here tonight. Let's just go here, amen? So ladies, you receive from the man, right? And the man gives to you. The man is on the outside and women, we are on the inside, right? Hope I'm making it plain, okay? So with that being said, ladies, when you continue to allow a man inward, you create what is called soul ties, all right? Now, men, I want to help some of y'all out because y'all like, how is he able to sleep with five women in one week and there's no emotion or attachment? Well, because he's on the outside, okay? Can I help you, ladies? You have what is called a womb, all right? So anytime... And this is what the Holy Spirit gave me years ago, okay? This is why, oh God, hallelujah. This is why women, you got to be very careful who you allow into your spirit, into your womb. Am I helping somebody tonight? Because it's quiet. I don't see no, I don't see no, no, no hearts, no nothing. Am I helping anybody tonight? Oh, okay. I see some hearts now. Praise the Lord. All right. I want to make sure we weren't frozen. So the more that you allow a man inside of you, you contaminate your womb. All right. You contaminate your womb and God doesn't want you to keep contaminating your womb because he has a man for you. So because God has a man for you, your womb has to be purified. Okay. It has to be purified. Now we're going to go a little bit deeper, ladies. All right. Y'all ready? So this is why a woman, you know, she mm, every month, okay, that's to get all the toxins and the pure, you know, is to get all that stuff that's on the inside out, okay? Now, with that being said, when that happens, you got to refrain from any type of, because at that moment you are, I hope I'm saying it right without saying it. I don't want to be too graphic. But you have some women that don't mind having SEX while they're on that. You're not supposed to do that. And don't ever, I don't know why we're going here. Now you're, you're contaminating yourself even the more. And that man is contaminating him, himself. But, but I've heard of people, I've heard of men that like that. I've heard of women that like that. There are times, so, so thank you, Holy Spirit. If God gave the woman one week out of the month to refrain from that because she is, you have to respect that. Ladies, God gave us, <laughs> hello, am I talking to anybody? Is this microphone on? Is this? <laughs> and that's time, ladies, for you because right then and there, you emotional. You know, you're going through all kinds of stuff. Your hormones is raging. And can I talk to the brothers? That they have wives. Listen, husbands, that's a good time to rub her feet. That's a good time to rub her hair. Listen, give her give her a head massage while you're watching Netflix. You know, that's a good time, husbands, to to cater to her because she ain't feeling too good. She ain't feeling too good. Her emotions is all over the place. You know, uh, all kinds of stuff going on. But anyway, all right. So <laughs> that's why I say it's a lot. It's a lot that the Holy Spirit has taught me over the years. But ladies, cover yourselves up. Ladies, wait on God, please. And ladies, you are the helper to that man. So don't come with the spirit of lust. Don't come with the spirit of seduction. Don't try to make his head spin. Because guess what? He's going to need more than that. All right, ladies? And if all you got is your body, you need more than that. You, you need more than the body. Okay? This is why you probably end up by yourself because all you do is use your body. 
I, I hope I'm helping somebody right here. Don't use your body as a tool to keep a man because you 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 won't. I'm just saying, you know, start being an intercessor. Start learning how to pray. Come on, start start reading your word, amen, so that you can cover him. Hallelujah, so that you can cover him in prayer because he's going to go through a text. Come on, and he doesn't just want a beautiful woman that, you know, just got it going on because guess what? If that's the case, it's thousands of women in the earth that, that got a nice body and, you know, can, can, can make his head spin. I'm just saying, okay? So ladies, know that you are valuable. Ladies, know that you are a jewel. Ladies, know that you are the helper to him. Our job is to be the help me to the man, to help him with the vision, the vision, V-I-S-I-O-N, that God has given him. So ladies, you need to wait on God for a man that has a vision. See, we can go a little bit deeper with this. I'm telling y'all, this teaching is awesome. Ladies, women of God, prophets, prophetess, evangelists, those of you in ministry, learn how to wait on God if you're single. Wait on the Lord, all right? Because that man is going to need you. He's going to need you more than, more than you know. More than you know. So get in God's face. Ask God to prepare you. God bless your daughter, Chanel. I see you on tonight. So that you can be everything that he needs you to be. All right? I believe that 2024 is going to be the year of engagements and kingdom marriage. Amen. I truly believe that. So I prophesy in the name of Jesus what God revealed to me. I prophesy engagements. I prophesy kingdom marriage. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus, I prophesy it now for those who desire it. Glory to God. Because the Bible says it's not good for man to be alone. Come on. We got too many single men in the body of Christ that are by themselves, trying to do ministry by themselves. And as you know, the enemy's job is to divide and conquer, right? So ladies, women, women of God, prepare yourself, hallelujah, so that you can be found by your king. Come on, found by the man of God. Come on, come on. I don't know why we shifted tonight, but somebody needed to hear this. Amen. That's right, that's right, Prophet Cedric. Amen. Uh, kingdom marriage, kingdom marriage. Amen. God is going to do it, hallelujah, for the end times. We are in the end times, glory to God. And because we're in the end times, amen, it, 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 the two is better than one, hallelujah. Two is better than one, speak Holy Ghost, hallelujah. Two is better than one, so God is going to join the two together, hallelujah, so that the mission of ministry can be accomplished, hallelujah. God says he, he's joining the two together, Hallelujah for the kingdom purpose. Glory to God. Yes, you're going to enjoy each other. Amen. Hallelujah. Uh, yes, you're going to, you know, come together. Hallelujah. And enjoy each other. But the truth of the matter is, amen, you're going to be able to fulfill your kingdom assignment in the earth realm. Hallelujah. With the person that God, hallelujah, sees fit. Glory to God to be able to help you in that assignment. Hallelujah. Can somebody put in the comments, I made the wrong choice? Can, can somebody, whew, I hear you, Holy Ghost. Can somebody put in the comments, I made the wrong choice? I'm talking to those of you that made the wrong choice. You might have you might have hooked up with the wrong person, and now your ministry is no longer your ministry. Um, or you might have you might have hooked up, you know, with the wrong person and you thought they were the one, right? And then God revealed to you that they were not the one. Can we be honest tonight so we can get healed, right? Can, can we just say, I made the wrong choice? Like, you know, because a lot of times, thank your Holy Ghost, and I feel the power of God moving. So God is touching somebody. Can, can we be honest and say that, God, I made the wrong choice. And because I made the wrong choice, God, help me to wait on the right one. Help me to wait, hallelujah, so that my mind is clear for me to make the right choice this time. Because a lot of times we move off of impulse. A lot of times we move because the person says they love us. Come on. I teach my daughters, you are beautiful. Come on. I, I tell my oldest daughter and my youngest daughter all the time, you're beautiful. I squeeze their cheeks. Come on. I kiss them on the cheek. I tell my daughters, I listen, I tell them you're beautiful. 
Why do I do that? Because the first man that comes that says you're beautiful, I don't want them to be like, oh, oh my gosh. Oh, you know, he told me I'm beautiful. Ladies, you are beautiful. Come on, you, you, you are the apple of God's eye. Hallelujah. And I'm going to tell you like my mother told me. She said, Carmen, you are the gift. So I want to tell every lady, every female tonight, you are the gift. Hallelujah. And don't let him unwrap the gift. Hallelujah. Until you have sought the Lord. Don't let him unwrap the gift. Don't let him take that bow off. <laughs> Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Somebody's being strengthened right here. Until you understand and you know for sure that he's the one. And, and same thing for men. Men. Men of God. My brothers. Listen. Wait on God. <laughs> Wait until he speaks directly to you and say, this is your rib. This is the one that I have ordained for you. Hallelujah. And when you hear God, men of God, go for it. Hallelujah. Go for it. Hallelujah. I love when I see kingdom marriages and those who have followed the leading of God. You know why? I love it because when you hear their story, it don't take long for them to get married. When it's kingdom, it don't take long for them to propose. Hallelujah. When it's God, hallelujah, that man is saying, wait a minute. I'm going to go ahead and get this ring. I need to find out her ring size. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And next thing you know, I need to meet the family. I need to know more about her. You know, I need to know her relationship with the Lord. Is it where it needs to be? Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And those are the things, amen, that the man, the man of God is seeking after. Amen. And I, and I encourage the ladies to tell you all to stay hidden in God. Let me turn this down just a little bit so I can get this point across. And we're going to dive into Matthew 25. Ladies, stay hidden in God until he finds you. I'm, I'm going to say it one more time. Ladies, please. Stay hidden in God. He should have to go to God for you. I'm going to say that again. <laughs> that man should have to go to God for you. That's how precious you are. Amen. Amen. Come on, my sisters. Come on, ladies. <laughs> Hallelujah. And if he has a prayer life, guess what he's going to do? He's going to go to God for you. He's going to say, wait a minute, God, can I have her? Can, can I have her? Come on. And then God's going to make it possible. Why? Because the Bible says that he who findeth a wife, findeth a good thing and obtains favor with the Lord. So he knows that you're beautiful. You have a prayer life. You really love God. But guess what? You're his favor. Oh, we're going a little bit deeper right here. <laughs> Come on, ladies. You are his favor. So make sure your credit is right. He might need a new car when y'all get together. Oh, it's okay to buy your husband a car after you after you marry. Now, don't be the girlfriend and you buy him a car. He'll ride off and have somebody else in the car. In your in your new car, he'll be taking his his new girlfriend to the movies in your new car. Don't do it. But once you become husband and wife, of course, of course, you understand. So, ladies, make sure your credit is good. Come on, because you are his favor. Hallelujah. And you are his help me. Come on. He might want to start a business. Come on, but you got the $2,500. I'm just saying. He might have $700. He might have $900. He might have $1,000, right? And next thing you know, you got a little something to go with it. you like, look, I got some money too. Come on, we're going to come together. Hallelujah. And we're going to make this thing happen. Ladies, you are the help me. So don't just come with a nice face and a nice shape and, you know, yeah, don't, don't, don't come like that. <laughs> Amen. Cause he can get that anywhere. Hallelujah. Come on. He can get that anywhere. Amen. So ladies, make sure you come with something. You come with some substance. Come on. See, this is sound doctrine right here. And the church don't teach this, but I'm just saying we got to teach it. Pastors, we got to teach this. Come on. Hallelujah. You ain't just lips and hips and thighs. Come on. No, 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 no. It's, it's greater than that. It's bigger than that. Come on. Hallelujah. And I believe, glory to God, that many of you are going to be married. Those of you that are single tonight, I really believe that God's going to do it. Listen, y'all can just get me a ticket. All right. If you're in a different city and state, I just want to sit in the audience. 
Then I just want to be, I just want to witness your, your wedding. Amen. You could just invite me. If you want me to do the prayer, I'll do the prayer. I will be honored. <laughs> Glory to God. But I know that God is getting ready to do something. I feel it strong in my spirit. Amen. I've been talking for the last 20 minutes about marriage and you know what, what we need to do ladies and what the men need to do to prepare for kingdom marriage. Amen. So God bless you all. Blessings to you, Minister Dexter tonight. Blessings upon blessings to you and happy belated birthday, Minister Dexter. Happy birthday to all of you that celebrated your birthday in December. Glory to God. I had mine um, the early part of December, but my birthday is actually December the 10th. Amen. So I was able to celebrate a week before and a week after, and I'm still celebrating y'all just in case. All right. Just in case y'all want to bless my cash app. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm still celebrating my birthday. And to my committee, to the ministry team, thank you so much. You ladies have done a phenomenal job. Did y'all see the pictures? Oh my gosh. Oh my goodness. The ministry did an amazing job. Amen. Um, blessing me for my birthday celebration. So God bless you. Um, is it Apostle Cheney? God bless you. God bless you. Amen. Amen. Glory to God. Your daughter's birthday was tonight. It was my daughter's birthday. Thank you, Pastor. Amen. Amen. To God be the glory. Yes. All right. Let's dive into the word, y'all. Let's dive into the word. Okay. Let's dive into the word. Amen. Those of you that want to sow, you're more than welcome to sow tonight. Listen, we need about 10 of you to sow into our building fund. All right. I'm going to say it now. I'm not going to wait to the end. We need about 10 of you to sow into our building fund. Amen. We need 10 of you to sow tonight into our building fund. Please. Please sow into our Builder Fund. Amen. We're looking for 100 partners to sow $100. Yep. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. We're looking for... Um, wait a minute. Wait a minute, Holy Spirit. Give it back to me. We're looking for 100 people to sow... Yeah, $100. Amen. Glory to God. Yes. Hallelujah. And we will reach our goal. Glory to God. So, with that being said, a few have already sown, amen, into our Builder Fund. So, please be a blessing to PIPW Ministry. Amen. The cash app has changed. Um, the cash app is now Prophetess Carmen One. All right. So it's no longer PIPW Ministry, but the cash app is Prophetess Carmen One. All right. Those on YouTube, you're blessed by the ministry. Get your best seed in the ground. All right. PayPal.me forward slash prophetic impact. All right. We also have Zale for those who sow on Zale. It is 267-576-8358. And those of you in the giving spirit, all right, the Christmas spirit, amen, you're in the giving spirit, we ask that you sow into the ministry tonight, amen, if this ministry has been a blessing in your life, get, get your best seed in the ground, amen, it's quiet, it is so quiet when you start talking about giving, all right, let's turn to Matthew 25, all right, and these are the words of Jesus, amen, I'm going to read the words of our Lord and Savior, amen, Jesus Christ, hallelujah, Matthew 25, and I'm going to start reading at verse 1, I come to tell you tonight that the enemy is after your oil. My Lord, my Lord, we shifting right here. The enemy is after your oil. Hallelujah. Is it still freezing on Facebook? Because it looks like the numbers are dropping. I want to tell you tonight that the enemy is after your oil. The enemy is after your oil. Hear me and hear me well in the Holy Ghost. The enemy is after your oil, people of God. You may say, why is the enemy fighting me? He wants your oil. Because he knows that the bridegroom is coming. He knows. We can see you good, Apostle. Thank you. Thank you, Prophet Chanel. He knows that the wedding feast is soon to come. He knows that the return of the Lord is closer than we think. So he wants your oil. If he can distract you hmm, and take your oil, steal your oil, he got you. Let's read verse one. It reads, then shall the kingdom of heaven be likened unto ten virgins who took their lamps and went forth to meet the bridegroom. Verse two, and five of them were wise and five were foolish. 
They that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. Verse four, but the wise took oil in their vessels with their lamps. Verse five, and while the bridegroom tarried, they all slumbered and slept. Verse six, and at midnight, somebody shout midnight. And at midnight, there was a cry made. Behold, the bridegroom cometh. Go ye out to meet him. Verse seven, then all the virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said unto the wise, give us of your oil for our lamps have gone out. Jesus have mercy. So much revelation in that right there. Verse nine, but the wise answer saying not so, lest there be not enough for us and for you. Go ye rather mm -hmm, to them that sell and buy for yourselves. Verse 10. And while they went out to buy, the bridegroom came. Somebody shot it was too late. And they were they that were ready went in with him into the marriage and the door was shut. Verse 11. And afterwards came the Lord saying to the virgins, I'm sorry, afterwards came also the other versions to the Lord, saying, Lord, Lord, open unto us. Verse 12, but he answered and said unto him, unto them, Verily I say unto you, I do not know you. Verse 13, it says, Watch therefore, for ye know neither the day nor the hour wherein the Son of Man cometh. The enemy wants your oil. He's not coming for anything else in this season, but your oil. Hmm. For those of you that have oil, huh? I come to tell you tonight, don't give your oil away. Mm. Don't give your oil away. There's a passage of scripture here in verse seven. And eight, it says, then all the virgins arose and trimmed their lamps. Verse eight, and the foolish said unto the wise, give us, uh oh, I'm going to get in trouble right here. <laughs> give us of your oil for our lamps have gone out. Ah. Uh. Some of you, <laughs> you have people connected to you that have wasted their oil. They have no desire to have their cups filled, their, their vessels uh, filled with oil. They have wasted their oil. Now, Prophet Chanel, they want to come to you and say, can I have some of your oil? I know I've been disregarding God, but can I have some of your oil, please? I know I've been missing church, but can I have, can I, I know I've been disobeying God. I ain't been paying my tithes and giving my offering. I've been disobedient, but can I have some of your, since you in the overflow, can I just, Somebody put in the comments, I paid the price for this. Oh, shy. come on, Sister Sean. Hallelujah. You suffer for this oil. Sister Ashley, you suffer for this oil. Come on. And the oil also represents the anointing. Y'all not going to talk back to me. It's early in the morning. It's almost one o'clock in the morning. If you talk back to me, I promise you I'll preach and close the message. <laughs> Hallelujah. And get us where we need to go tonight. Hallelujah. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. You paid the oh, You paid the price for the oil. So don't you dare give the oil to somebody. Don't you dare give the oil to those who don't care. Don't you dare give the oil to those who ain't they're not sacrificing. They're not laboring. Come on, they don't even love your God no more. 
Oh, they just like the gift. Come on, somebody. They just love the fact that they can come and they can eat. Y'all not going to talk back to me. Hallelujah. And they can just sup with you. But you paid the price to dine with the Lord. You, oh, you paid the price. Hallelujah. To sit with Jesus and to sit at the table. And how dare some people say, I want what you got. Hey, I don't want to sit in that ministry. I don't want to get on the prayer line, but I want, I, I want what you got. Oh, I know you done paid the price. I know you suffer, but guess what? I want what you got. You can't have it. Can't have it. Can't have it. God said, don't waste your oil in this season because I'm soon to return, saith the Lord. Hallelujah. He says, and I'm coming for the wise versions. Oh, sha. Mm, hallelujah. He said, hey, sha. He says, I'm coming for the wise versions. Hmm. I'm coming. <laughs> Hallelujah. He says, I'm coming for the wise ones. Ah. Let's read the text. Five were foolish and five were wise. The five that were foolish took their lamps with no oil in them. How are you going to get to where you got to get to when you ain't got no oil in your vessel? You, oh, sha, you ain't got no oil in your lamp. Hold on. In the Bible times, there were no street lights. Can I teach for a minute? So because there were no street lights, I love you, Mother Katie. I'm praying for you and your family. God bless you tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Listen, because there were no street lights, they needed lamps on their feet on their ankles to get to where they needed to get to. This is why David said in the book of Psalm, he said, Lord, your, your, your word is a lamp unto my feet and it's a light unto my pathway. Oh, hallelujah. Because David realized that the purpose of the word, hallelujah, was to lead the way. Hallelujah, to, 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 to provide the light that he needed. Y'all not going to talk back to me, but I'm going to keep on talking. Hallelujah. And so he realized, glory to God. He said, Lord, your word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my pathway. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. So in the Bible times, some of y'all don't know, but there were no street lights. In other words, they had to get from, from point A to point B, but they had to get there with vessels filled with oil and when it was time to travel oh when it was time to travel daughter chanel hallelujah when it was time to travel sister shore glory to god they had to light the vessel but it had to be oil in there hey because if there was no oil in the vessel y'all caught the revelation if there was no oil in the vessel they couldn't see where they were going Hey, sha. so God says in this hour and in this season, don't give your oil away to those, hallelujah, that don't even have no regard for your God. Better yet, don't give no oil to those who are not going where you're going. Come on, you going one way, they're going the other way. They can really care less about your God. They can really care less about your progress in ministry. Come on. They can really, oh, sha, they can really care less about how God is using you and what God is doing in your life and how God is perfecting your ministry. Oh, somebody may say, no, apostle, I'm going to be around leeches. Well, you go right on ahead. God is saying disconnect from spiritual leeches. I'm telling y'all, he's downsizing to upgrade us. I'm going to say it again. God is downsizing his children to upgrade us. He's disconnecting you from everything that's weighing you down. Oh, sha. do you know people do what they want to do when they want to do it? I'm getting in good trouble right here. I'm going to say it again. Do you know people do whatever they want to do, however they want to do it, and when they want to do it? Some of you have realized in 2023, the people that you depended on, uh, see, that's how you got the oil. You got the oil because you learned to depend on God. 
But how about in the beginning of the year? How about in the middle of the year when you depended on people and the people that you depended on were no longer around, were nowhere to be found because people do what they want to do whenever they want to do it and how they want to do it, okay? This is why, oh, shy. the Holy Spirit has me to tell you all this early morning. Don't waste your oil. Don't waste your oil. Learn to tell some people no. It's okay. But it's for where God is about to take some of you. Glory to God. You can't waste your oil. Now, the text says what? They that were foolish took their lamps and took no oil with them. So they had the lamp but no oil. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Verse 5 says, and while the bridegroom tarried, they slumbered and slept. Watch people that sleep on God. Uh, oh, shy. listen, Mother Katie right there. If we was in church, I say just put a sheet over top of me right there. I'm done. I'm done. So many people sleep on God. Y'all not going to talk back to me. So many people sleep on him. Knowing he's in the midst, still don't want no part of him. Knowing that he's moving, y'all not going to talk back to me, hallelujah. Knowing that God is moving, still don't want to connect with him. Knowing that God is speaking, still don't want to sow a seed. Yeah, you got it, but don't want to give it. People have no regard for God, but want the anointing. Oh, I'm getting in trouble. People have no regard for God, but want the oil. Oh, uh, I'm getting in trouble. People, y'all not going to talk back to me right here, but I'm talking to somebody. Even if it's just three of you, be encouraged because God says no longer shall you waste your oil. Stop wasting your oil. Stop wasting your oil. Hallelujah. God says you're going to need the oil very soon. Oh, shot. you're going to need the oil very soon. And if you know anything about prophecy, when the prophet says very soon, that means quickly. Hallelujah. That means quickly. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Quickly, some of you are going to need the oil in your vessel. This is why God is giving you this message right now, Sister Tracy. She says, I'm listening. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord says for me to tell you, Sister Tracy Martin, this is the season to disconnect. Hallelujah. Ha hey, Sha. Hallelujah. Keep getting disconnected. Okay. All right. The Lord said this is the season. Amen. Um, Sister Tracy, for you to disconnect. Amen. You got to disconnect from the wrong sources, the wrong people. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Sister Tracy, I, I see you. You have to have this type of vision. Your mindset has to be straight. It, it got to be straightforward, woman of God. Hallelujah. It has to be straightforward. The Lord is showing me, Sister Tracy. Mm, hallelujah. Because God has need of you, but he wants your mind. Hallelujah, Sister Tracy. The Lord says, tell my daughter to come back to me mentally. Hallelujah. And the Lord says, Sister Tracy, he's going to um, iron. Yes, Lord, I hear you. Hallelujah. Have did that. Amen. Amen. He's going to iron everything out for you, Sister Tracy. God is about to make every crooked path straight in your life, Sister Tracy. Hallelujah. There's, yes, Lord, I hear you. There's two more people. Amen. There's two more people, Sister Tracy, that you got to disconnect from at the end of this year. Before this year is out, God says you got to disconnect from them. It's two people. Hallelujah. One is very close to you and the other one is like an associate or kind of like a friend. Hallelujah. You got to disconnect, um, Sister Tracy, before you cross over into 2024. Glory to God. Hallelujah. So that everything that you wanted to do in 2022, everything you wanted to do in 2023, Sister Tracy, God will manifest it in 2024. Hallelujah. That is the word of the Lord concerning you, Sister Tracy. Some held up promises will be released to you, woman of God, when you obey God and disconnect from these two people. Hey, in the name of Jesus, God says, when you disconnect from these two people, hallelujah, and know that it is the Lord and don't question it. Hallelujah. Don't question it. Glory to God. I want to talk to some of you on tonight. Amen. It looks like Instagram is frozen. Either that or they just stopped commenting. It's okay. 
<laughs> glory to god hallelujah hallelujah god says don't waste your oil people of god be very very careful thank you for your seed tonight prophet of chanel and then to those that are getting ready to sow she said i've been asking in prayer thank you apostle much needed amen to god be the glory sister tracy i'm so glad you got your answer tonight amen i'm so glad that you got your answer hallelujah i'm so glad you got your answer i also speak amen to your your legs hallelujah I, I speak to the mobility thank you holy spirit in your legs sister tracy i don't know which one gives you the most uh trouble amen but even as i said your name the second time amen sister tracy amen tracy grant amen um Amen. Your 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 leg, Sister Tracy. I don't know why God is showing me. I don't know. It's one leg. It's like the knee. Um, the something with the knee. I don't know if the knee is twisting in or is twisted out. But I, I can see, um, Sister Tracy, I speak. Yes, God, I hear you. I speak that there would be no uh knee surgery. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Glory to God. That supernaturally, she says both of them. Amen. Amen. I see one, um, Sister Tracy, the Lord is showing me. I, I don't know if the direction of it has shifted your knee, your kneecap, your kneecap. Um, which Tracy Apostle? You, Tracy Martin. <laughs> Amen. Tracy Martin. Yes. Yes, Tracy Martin. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to you. Amen. Um, Ah, uh, glory to God. The knee, it's like the knee, um, I don't know, I don't know if it shifts, because at one moment I see it going to the right, then I see it going to the left. It's one of your kneecaps. Well, I speak in the name of Jesus, ah, uh, hallelujah, supernatural healing over your legs and also your knees in the mighty name of Jesus, hallelujah, that God will heal, hallelujah, your knees, that God will heal your legs, hallelujah, even your lower extremities, hallelujah, from your back, your low back all the way down, hallelujah, Sister Tracy, in the mighty name of Jesus, hallelujah, so shall it be, hallelujah, so shall it be, glory to God, so shall it be for you, woman of God, Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. I also speak. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. To the bones. I speak. Oh, God. Mm. My Lord. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. I speak to the bones. I speak to your bones. Hallelujah. I speak. Amen. To any arthritis that is trying to manifest in your bones, woman of God, that it be no more in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. That you will walk in healing. Sister Tracy. Glory to God. No, no cane. No, emo, no, no. Um, mobile devices that would to help you to be able to walk in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. That God will heal you supernaturally. Glory to God. Sister Tracy, the Lord is, is telling me to tell you also that you need to drink more water and you need to get rest. Woman of God, you need to get rest. You need a vacation. Hallelujah. You need one whole day of rest. Yes, Lord, I hear you. Hallelujah. Sister Tracy Martin, you need one whole day to sleep. Glory to God. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Yes, you need one whole day. I see the, the, the broadcast is interrupting. Glory to God. We get ready to get off. Hallelujah. You need one whole day to rest. Somebody may say somebody can sleep all day. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. I prophesied over one of my spiritual daughters the other day. Amen. And God said, tell her she's going to rest. I'm going to put her to sleep. And she slept that whole night all the way to the next day. Amen. To about four o'clock that afternoon. Oh, yeah. Hallelujah. God will put you to sleep. Amen. He knows what the body needs, um, Sister Tracy. But the, the healing that I see, she said, we'll do so. Amen. You need a vacation, though, because you, you, you can't sleep where you are. You, you, you're not going to be able to sleep, Sister Tracy, where you are. It's just, it's, you can't. Because you constantly like, okay, what's next? 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 So you, it's going to be hard to sleep. It's going to be hard to rest, uh, Tracy Martin. Amen. Um, come back into the travel business. Amen. I'll hook you up with a nice, nice vacation. Amen. With a very nice vacation. Hallelujah. With a very nice vacation. Um, you need it. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And this is why some of you, the Lord brought you into the travel business. Can I just talk about this for a minute? 
there's about 20 of you, amen. 10 of you are probably already in the business, but there's 10 of you that need to join the business. I'm not here to promote the business. I'm here to tell many of you that you need a vacation. Hallelujah. And why not get a free vacation? Come on. Why not? Why not go for free? Hallelujah. Why not go for pennies on the dollar? Hallelujah. Listen, why, why pay thousands of dollars to go on a vacation when you could pay $200 to go on a vacation? I'm just saying. Hallelujah. Somebody shall make it make sense. Come on. Hallelujah. She says, I'm leaving out in February to head to Atlanta. Yeah, you need to go on vacation before that, Sister Tracy. Because what I see happening in your body, woman of God, you, you need the vacation. You need to sleep. Hallelujah. Supernaturally, um, Sister Tracy, when you rest, this whole day of rest that I see, your body, you're going to feel so much better. Hallelujah. You're going to feel rejuvenated. Glory to God. You're going to feel so much better, um, Sister Tracy. Amen. It's before February, though. It's before February. Amen. Reconnect. You need to come back into the business. I know some of you may say, oh, no, no, no. You know, I'm going to do my own thing or I'm going to do this or I'm going to do that. Listen, there are many of you that need to connect with the travel business. Amen. She said, wow, much needed. Yeah, I know. I, I hear the Lord. I hear God. And, and some of you, thank you, Mother Katie, for your seed tonight. Amen. We really need um, at least 10 of you to sow into our building fund tonight. I'm telling you all what we need. Amen. We really need you to sow into our building fund. So those who can sow abundant seed, $100, $50, whatever you can sow on tonight into our building fund, please sow into our building fund. Amen. Hallelujah. She says, yes, I do a little stress and just work it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Many of you need to come into the travel business because you need discount travel. You need to travel for less now. Hallelujah. Save you some money. Glory to God. And then also come home to a check. Make it make sense. It makes a lot of sense. <laughs> Every time I book on my site, I come home to a check. And I pay at a discount. Hmm. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. And some of you, the Lord is saying, amen, even with your vehicle, I'm waiting for Facebook to come back up. It's frozen. But even with your vehicles, amen, you can rent a vehicle on your website. I don't know who this is for, but make sure your, your site is up. Make sure, amen, those on Facebook, I know we're back. Let me just say this real quick. Some of you need the travel business because your vehicles, may be getting ready to break down. Do you know if your vehicle breaks down, you could go in your back office and you can rent a vehicle like easy and then you get paid, you get a check when you return that vehicle? I know what I see in the spirit. I'm just saying, some of you, your vehicles are about to break down because they, they literally like clunk, 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 clunk. So you need a travel package to be able to go into your back office and book that vehicle. And then when you return the vehicle, you will have a check. I love it. I love this business. Amen. So, so it's greater than you just, oh, Apostle Carmen got all these people and oh, she's doing so great in the business. Oh, she number one and yada, yada, yada. No, I'm working my business. And furthermore, what I have, you need. Come on. Hallelujah. What I have access to, you need it. Hallelujah. So those of you that are in the business, those of you that need to start working your business so that you can make some money. Hallelujah. Go into the new year with a new mindset. Hallelujah. With new finances. Come on. New clientele. Hey, Sha. In the name of Jesus. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. All things new. Come on. Y'all not going to talk back to me tonight, but it's all right. Hey, Sha, in the name of Jesus. Listen, we're talking. About, yes, Lord, I hear you. He says, continue. We're talking about having um, extra stream of income. We're talking about making more money. We're talking about paying bills off. Come on. We're talking about paying off debt and all this stuff. And oh, I want my credit to be right. Well, use the business to do it. Use the business to do it. Come on. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me tell y'all something about the company that, that I'm a part of, Surge 365. They want to pay you. They want to cut your checks. Hey, Sha. Come on, somebody. In the midst of the pandemic, they didn't miss a payment. In other words, everybody that was in the business, they didn't miss a check. Oh, they got powerful testimonies. While all other travel companies stopped paying people, not Surge. Mm-mm. 
And I've, I've listened to the stories of the people that never missed a check. Somebody shout, I want to be like that. I don't never want to miss a check. Matter of fact, hallelujah, I desire residual income in 2024. And I'm not going to wait till March for it to happen. Hallelujah. Vivian says information for the business, please. I got you, Vivian Thomas. I got you. Amen. I'm going to write your name down. Glory to God. I'm going to message you sometime tomorrow. I got you. Hallelujah. I'm telling you, it's amazing. Hallelujah. And you know what? Glory to God. I'm going to continue to say it because people need to hear it. Hallelujah. People need to hear it. And somebody may say, Apostle, you can't do that. Do you know this is no, this is ministry. And this is marketplace ministry. Because guess what? Not only will you have access to it, not only will you benefit from it, hallelujah, because it's marketplace ministry, you have the ability to help somebody else. Come on. We share the good news about Jesus. Why not share the good news about a business opportunity? Stop being scared. Oh, shot. Woo, Jesus. Hallelujah. I just felt a yoke be destroyed right there. Stop being afraid. Stop being afraid. Oh, sha. who am I talking to? I feel yokes being destroyed right there. Stop being afraid to tell people what you have. Woo. Stop being afraid to open your mouth and say something. Ha, huh? glory to God. Hallelujah. Do you know, people of God, that there are, there are people waiting for what you have? Sister Tracy said, that's my problem, Apostle, being afraid. See that? See that? I just felt that yoke be destroyed, Sister Tracy. Receive it in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Because God has great plans for you. I'm telling you, in this business, God has great... I feel the anointing of God. Hallelujah. And I didn't want to go here. Amen. But some of you... Oh, sha. Some of you need this tonight. Hallelujah. You, you need this. I'm telling you. Glory to God. You need this. Hey! Hallelujah. You need this igniting. You need, amen, this surge. Hallelujah. You, you need this empowerment. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Sometimes, amen, we're so quick to say, I'm not saying nothing. You know, I, I'm awake. I'm awake. Okay, what are you waiting for? What are you waiting for? Oh, sha. What are you waiting for? Come on, because by the time you wait, guess what's going to happen? Somebody else going to say something. And next thing you know, guess what? You done missed the opportunity. Hey, somebody shout, I'm not missing. Yes, Lord, I hear you. Somebody need to shout this for real. You need to say, I'm not missing another opportunity for increase and overflow in my life. All right, we get ready to exit. Somebody need to shout, I'm not missing another opportunity. Hey, hallelujah for increase and overflow in my life. The Lord says many of you have been missing opportunities. You, oh God, I hear you. Hallelujah. God said many of you have been missing opportunities. You've been missing it. You've been missing it. That's just like we pray and ask God. We'll say, Lord, help me. Right? Yes, Lord, I hear you. So many people say, Lord, help me. You say, Lord, help me. And then he sends help. And you don't like the way the help is. You're like, oh, I, I ain't think you were going to help me like that. <laughs> Somebody shout, help is help. Come on, write it in the comments. Help is help. Hallelujah. If God, hey, sha, if God sends it, guess what? It's help. Hallelujah. Mother Katie says, amen. Glory to God. I still got to get her connected. Amen to the travel business. I'm telling you. Hallelujah. And Mother Katie, let me just share this word with you real quick. There are people that you know, hallelujah, that are traveling, amen, that are also retired. Oh, sha. hallelujah. Let me help you, Mother Katie, right here. And I know, amen, you, you, you really listen to the word of the Lord, Mother Katie. Amen. If you come into the travel business, hallelujah, there are people who are already traveling, Mother Katie, but guess what? They're retired. They're, they're retired. Mm. I know what I see in the spirit. Hey, hallelujah. Hallelujah. They're retired. And do you know you can bless so many people who are retired? Even with a travel package, you can bless them with the opportunity just to be able to travel for free and to go on cruises and enjoy life. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Listen, there are many people, amen, that are living their best life. Hallelujah. The, the last part of their life, the second half, 
<laughs> Come on, because once you get to retire age, let me tell you something. Now it's time for you to live the second half of your life. So why not travel? Why, why not travel? Why not travel? Amen. Why not travel? <laughs> Hallelujah. Listen, I'm probably one of the youngest people, amen, that have hit the, hit the top number one in the company. Amen. Because I didn't come in because I'm retired. In other words, I, I didn't come in, you know, for, for some reasons why people, you know, travel now. Hallelujah. I've been traveling. Glory to God. But I said, you know what? Why am I going to Disney and paying $3,000, hallelujah, when the opportunity came, glory to God, from my sister, uh, Reverend Cynthia, glory to God, who brought me in the business. She said, Apostle Carmen, you could go for half off. I was like, what? I said, what? Somebody shall help is help. Come on. Because she helped me at that moment, Sister Stacy. Now, what if she would have just booked my Disney trip and took my money? Come on. She didn't do that. She said, Apostle Carmen, she said, my sister, let me tell you how you can go for half off. And we took that Disney trip for $1,600. See, the church needs to hear about this because guess what? We're spending money. With, oh, y'all not going to talk back to me. We're spending all kinds of money everywhere else and ain't nobody saying nothing. No, I'm going to tell you how you can get a discount. And guess what, Mother Katie? I'm a Disney specialist. <laughs> Hallelujah. So I was able to take the training for free. Training that would have cost thousands of dollars to become a Disney travel agent. Hallelujah. I am now a Disney travel agent. Come on, y'all not going to talk back to me. Hallelujah. I specialize in Disney vacations. Ah, look how God turned that thing around. Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Help is help. Come on here. God turn. I'm done. I'm done. I'm done. I'm getting ready to get off. We get ready to get off of here. How you did the old shot. Hallelujah. God turn that thing around. See, there are opportunities. I want to help y'all. There are opportunities that God wants to give you. Amen. Amen. It's all right. You can come back. You can come back. You can come back, Sister Stacy. Amen. Hallelujah. Listen, let me tell you something. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Because that's what I love about Surge. Once you, even if you depart, guess what? You still could come back. I love it. I love that part. I love that part. Amen. Most travel companies, you can't. You, you cannot. But with Surge, you can. I'm going to tell you. I'm going to tell you how. <laughs> All right. Amen. Hallelujah. And oh, God. Hallelujah. Mm, hallelujah. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. One decision. I hear your Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. God says one decision. That's for seven. I hear seven. The Lord says seven of you. One decision is going to change your life. Mm, I just heard that in the spirit. The Lord said it's seven of you. You're going to make the right decision now and it's going to change your life. My God. One decision is seven. So if it's 12 people on Facebook, it's four people on um, Instagram. Seven of you, God says you're going to make one decision, the right decision that's going to change your life. To God be the glory. Hallelujah. God told me to pray for businesses tonight. He told me to pray for business owners. Amen. The Lord also told me to pray for those who lost loved ones in 2023. Amen. So I'm going to pray for those of you that lost loved ones this year and even last year. Amen. Because I know around the holiday seasons, it's not easy for some people. Amen. So I'm going to pray for that as well. The Lord said also pray for divine connections going into 2024. And I wrote it down what he told me. Amen. So I'm going to be obedient. And I'm going to pray that tonight as we close. Amen. And then the Lord said, amen. There shall be new business partners and new clientele for business owners. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's going to be new clientele. Amen. Uh, Minister Dex, I see you came on over here. Is it freezing on Facebook? Is it, is it freezing Minister Dexter on Facebook? Please let me know. Amen. New business partners and new clientele. Yes, Vivian Thomas, I'm going to tell you all about it. Yes, one decision is going to change your life. Amen. Amen. Um, hallelujah. Hallelujah. And God said, hey, can you pray for my father, Jimmy? It's not looking good, but I know God is a healer. Amen. Amen, Sister Tracy. Yes. Yes, we'll pray for your father. Amen. Glory to God. We'll pray for your father. Hallelujah. 
Hallelujah. Sister Tracy, amen. I hear the Lord said, make amends, make amends, make amends, make amends, make amends. Hallelujah. Make amends. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Not that anything is wrong. Amen. Um, Sister Tracy, but make amends. Amen. Make amends. Make amends. That's what I hear, Sister Tracy. Amen for your dad. We're going to pray for him, Mr. Jimmy. Amen. We're going to pray for him. Glory to God. But just make amends. Make sure that everything is... Um, make sure that everything is, is okay. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Yes. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, because I see where you always loved, you, you always wanted to be daddy's, daddy's little girl, daddy's little girl. That's what I hear. Daddy's little girl. <laughs> amen. Amen. Daddy's little girl. Wow. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Some of you need counseling. We shifting right here. Mm. So, some of you, and even those that are going to watch the replay, some of you need counseling. Yes, I see that. I see that, Sister Tracy. Always been daddy's little girl. Yeah, I see that and I hear that. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And, you know, just him hearing your voice, um, Sister Tracy, I don't know if you can get to him, if he, if he's close to you, but just him hearing your voice, hallelujah, and you telling him you love him, amen, would be, um, would be enough to keep him holding on. Glory to God. I don't know if you can get to him, Sister Tracy. Amen. But that's what I hear. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Even if it's over the phone. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm going to pray. Glory to God for businesses. Thank you, Minister Dexter, and for letting me know that it's freezing. We're going to get off because the connection is probably real bad. He's been asking for me. I'm going tomorrow. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father. Yes, God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Mm. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. Oh, glory. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Before I pray, I want to say this because once I pray, we're going to exit. Let me just say this. There are 12 of you. Amen. The Lord said 12 of you. Amen. That can sow tonight. Glory to God that can sow tonight. There are 12 of you that can sow tonight. Listen, I know it's the holiday. Amen. And some of you are probably down to your last because you done spent all your money. Amen. But the Lord says there are some of you that have not. There are some of you that have finances. There are some of you that can sow. Amen. But you have a need. You have a need. You have a need. Yes, Lord, I hear you. Hallelujah. The Lord said out of the 12, yes, yes, God, I hear you. He said there are 12 of you that can sow tonight. You have a need. You have a need. You have a need. Amen. And whenever there's a need, you sow a seed. Glory to God. You sow a seed because the need that you have, some of you have a need financially. Um, if you don't have the money to meet that need, then you always sow a seed. Glory to God. You always sow a seed. You always sow a seed. So I'm getting ready to pray. Hallelujah. But I'm also going to pray over every seed that is sown on tonight into the ministry. Thank you, Prophet Chanel, for continuing to share with as many people as you can on tonight. Amen. Um, hallelujah. There, there are, yes, God, I hear you. There's some of you that need a change. You, 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 you need a change. Like you really, really, really need a change. Like, a, 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 I want to say like a spiritual makeover. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord, I hear you. Uh, we're getting ready to exit, but there, there are some of you that need a, you need you need a change. Who am I talking to? Where are you at tonight? I want to pray for you as well. You need a change. You need like a change of surrounding. You need a change of your environment. You need oh God. Hmm. Wow. I feel I feel that real heavy on me. Even as I said it, I'm gonna pray. It's gonna break though. And God's going to give you direction. He's going to He's going to tell you exactly where to go. Because where God is going to send you, he has need of you. Five. Yes, Lord, I hear you. He said there's five of you. He's getting God is getting ready to shift you. 
He's getting ready to he's getting ready to send you where he has need of you. Five, five. I hear you, Holy Spirit. Yes, God. Mm, Jesus. Wow. 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 Thank you, Holy Spirit. And some of you don't you don't have the finances to get there. Hmm. Hallelujah. There, there's five of you. Amen. Sow your seed tonight and name your seed relocation. Yes, Lord, I hear you. Name your seed relocation. Name your seed relocation. Wow. Ooh. Hmm. Yeah, you, you got to get there now, Sister Tracy. You got to get there. 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 Hallelujah. You got to get there. Yes, Lord. You got to get there. Mm. You got to get there. Hallelujah. You must. I hear the Lord saying you must get there. Hallelujah. Ah. Hey. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Prophet Chanel, are you on? Amen. Are you on? Hmm. Jesus. Prophetess Chanel, are you on? She said, what's the cash app again? It's Prophetess Carmen 1. We had to change it, Sister Tracy. It's dollar sign, Prophetess Carmen 1. Prophetess Carmen 1. And that's C-A-R-M-E-N. Uh, Prophetess Carmen 1. Yeah. Um, this is what I've been praying for after marriage of infidelity and divorce. Wow. Wow. Uh, Prophetess Chanel... Amen. I see you with boxes. Oh, Jesus. Mm. Mm. Yes, Lord. I see you with boxes, um, Prophet Chanel. You're welcome, Sister Tracy. Amen. I'm going to pray over every seed in just a minute. Um, Hallelujah. God said, do not be fearful to pack. Hmm. There, there has been a hesitation in your spirit, uh, Prophet Chanel, to pack. For God has been dealing with you concerning moving. Hmm. And because of disappointment, because of letdown, um, and because of frustration, thank you, Holy Spirit. The Lord says you have not had no desires like you. God has been telling you, and you haven't done it. I literally saw boxes as I as I as I said your name. I saw boxes, um, and I also saw like bins um, to where. You're, you're going to, some stuff you're going to take and some stuff you're not. But there is a move. Y'all got to excuse me. I'm coming down now. Praise the Lord. Because <laughs> I was all the way up here. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> He's bringing me down now. Amen. Um, glory to God. You, um, you will move. You Thank you, Holy Spirit. You will move, uh, Prophet Chanel. Glory to God. And this move is going to be final. Ha, huh, glory to God. The Lord says, yes, God, I hear you. It's going to be final, Prophet Chanel. Hallelujah. I hear stability. I hear stability. You will be stable. Glory to God. You will be stable. Hallelujah. God is going to give you um, uh, uh, greater stability. Amen. You've been praying for it. You've been asking for it because that's what you're used to. Hallelujah. And God told me to tell you that it will come. It will come. Hallelujah. There's two people that's going to also bless you, uh, Prophet Chanel. Hallelujah. They're in Tennessee. Glory to God. Hallelujah. There's two people. Amen. The Lord says for me to tell you that are going to bless you there in Tennessee. Hallelujah. There's two, two, two people, two, two, not one, but two people are going to bless you. Hallelujah. In Tennessee. Amen. The Lord says that, um, and they're not going to want anything back. They're not going to want nothing back. They're going to literally help you. God is going, thank you, Holy Spirit. God's going to press upon their heart for them to help you. Amen. And the Lord said, don't be afraid to receive the help. Um, don't be afraid. 
to uh, accept help in this season. Glory to God, um, because what God is going to uh, grant unto you, you deserve it. Hallelujah, you deserve it. Can somebody put in the comments, uh, Prophetess Chanel, you deserve it. Hallelujah. Can somebody tell her <laughs> tonight that you deserve it? Hallelujah. You you deserve it. You deserve it. Hallelujah. You deserve it. What is getting ready to come into your hands? Hallelujah. You deserve it. Glory to God. Hallelujah. And I don't know why I see the number 50. Amen. I see the number 50. Hallelujah. I see the number 50, Prophet Chanel. 50 is the number of celebration and 50 is also the number of jubilee. Hallelujah. You will be celebrated. Glory to God. You will be celebrated. Hallelujah. You will be celebrated. Mm -hmm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The Lord said, yes, God, I hear you. He says for me to tell you, Prophet Chanel, that he sees everything. I don't know what that means to you. Um, but that's what I just heard. The Lord told me to tell you, he, you, he sees, he sees everything. Amen. He sees everything. He sees everything. He sees everything, everything, everything that you do. Glory to God. Even, uh, behind the scenes. Hallelujah. Not just for myself or the ministry, but everything that you do prophetess chanel the lord said he sees so he wants me to tell you this early morning amen your time 12 31 amen my time 1 31 <laughs> glory to god that you deserve it and he sees hallelujah okay sister tracy yes he sees he sees he knows and you deserve it you deserve it you deserve it <laughs> You deserve it. You know, sometimes, yes, Lord, I hear you. Sometimes we 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 want everybody else to be blessed and we want everybody else to receive. But when it's our time, it's hard to receive because we're givers, right? So because you're a giver, and even when you don't have to give, you still want to give something. You're like, I need to give something. I got it. And that's what I hear you saying. Um, I have to give something. I got to do something. I have to, you know, give up my time. I have to, um, um, display that I care and to let people know that I care. Hallelujah. The Lord says for me to tell you that prophet is Chanel. He sees, I, I hear him saying it for me to tell you. He sees, he said, tell her, I see, tell her, I see. Thank you. Holy spirit. S sometimes you, uh, feel like God doesn't see. Sometimes you feel like he doesn't see. It's like I, I hear you saying, God, did, did you see what I did? God, you you know that I... <laughs> it's like you have a conversation with God. It's like I, I hear you saying that, um, God, you know. God, you know. You know what I did, God. And, and I need you to honor. I need you to honor what I did. Hallelujah. Can I tell you something, daughter? There's nothing wrong with that. Even the prophet Hezekiah... Hallelujah. Hezekiah. Thank you, Holy Spirit. We shifting right here. Hezekiah. Glory to God. The, the Listen, the sickness that was upon him was un, unto death. And so the prophet came. And when the prophet came, glory to God, he, um, he told him that the sickness is not going to be unto death. No, he told him to get his house in order. Right? The first time. God bless you, Pastor Jerry. He said, get your house in order. Hallelujah. The prophet told Hezekiah, get your house in order. And when he told him, get your house in order, the Hezekiah turned his face to the wall and repented. But in the scripture, and I want you to read it, daughter, he says, God, remember when, hmm, God, remember when I honored you, God, remember when even Jonah, <laughs> when Jonah was in the belly of the fish I don't know where we're going tonight But we're going somewhere Shift Lord Even when Jonah Okay I hear you Lord Yes God There's two parts to this Thank you Holy Spirit Even when Jonah Prophet of Chanel Was in the belly of the fish I hear you God mm. He said to the Lord After he repented Oh God I feel a shifting in the atmosphere 
After he repented, he said, God, remember how I honored you. God, remember how I prayed. Oh, sha. He said, God, remember my years of sacrifice. Hey, hallelujah. That's what Jonah said to God. Hallelujah. Now, here's the flip side. You ready, Prophet of Chanel? Hallelujah. This did not take place. Ooh, I hear you, God. Yes, Lord. Until Jonah was on his way to Nineveh. I'm getting ready to... I'm getting ready to exit this live. We get ready to go. <laughs> Hallelujah. Jonah was on his way to Nineveh. And none of this took place. Help me, Holy Spirit. Until Jonah was on his way to the destination where God wanted him to be the first time. Hey. Hallelujah. Because Jonah... Hallelujah. The Bible says before he even got into the belly of the fish, before that even happened, Jonah was going the opposite way. Oh, uh, God. Hallelujah. Jonah was going the opposite way. The Bible said that he got up. He did the first part, Prophet Chanel. He got up. Hallelujah. But he went to Tarshish. He went back to Tennessee. <laughs> he went, uh, uh, you know what? He went the opposite way of where God had told him to go. And the Bible says he paid the fare. So, oh God, y'all caught that revelation? Sometimes it's going to cost us Hallelujah, when we go the wrong way. Hey, that's for five of y'all right there. Hallelujah, because it's costing some of you right now. Whoo, Jesus, have mercy. It's costing some of you right now financially. You like, oh, you know what? I ain't supposed to be right here. I ain't supposed to be doing this. It's taking up all my money. Well, it's taking all your money. Oh, sha. It's taking all your money, God says, because you're in the wrong place. Oh, somebody just got the answer right there. <laughs> Oh, God. somebody just got their answer right there. Oh, you, you got your answer. You got to get the Nineveh. You got, oh, you got to get the Nineveh. You got, you got to get the Nineveh by any means necessary. So, Providence Chanel, because you don't stay, listen, hey, shy. Holy Ghost is speaking to you. God is speaking to you. So, so with that being said, God is shifting you also. It wasn't until Jonah was in the belly of the fish. The place of rescue. Hey, hallelujah. See, some of y'all, God is about to rescue you, but you have no idea how your rescue is going to come. You have no idea your place of rescue, what it looks like. Oh, God, hallelujah. And God told me to tell some of you, even on tonight, oh, that he's about to make a way for you, hallelujah, to come out. But he got to give you the rescue first. In other words, Jonah was in the belly of the fish. And in the belly of the fish, Minister Dexter, he had to repent. And after he repented, hallelujah, he began to tell God, Sister Kathy, woman of God, he said, listen, God, I need you to remember. Please remember how I sacrificed. Let me turn to it for some of y'all that, that don't believe it. <laughs> Come on, let, let, let's turn to it real quick. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Woo, I feel God moving right here. Let, let's turn to it. Oh, sha. Hallelujah. There's a breaking. There's a breaking. There's a breaking. I said there's a breaking. There's a breaking. There's a breaking. Yes, Lord. I feel it breaking in the atmosphere. Oh, sha, because now you're realizing you got to get to where you're supposed to be. Uh-huh, uh-huh, yeah, yeah. You, 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 you're you going to get to where, she says, I'm about to throw my phone across the room. <laughs> Hallelujah. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Come on, come on. So, so Jonah began to say what? Hallelujah. Ver, uh, chapter 2, verse 1. Then Jonah prayed unto the Lord his God out of the fish's belly, uh huh, and said, I cried by reason of my affliction unto the Lord, and he heard me. Uh oh, have you been crying lately, Prophet Chanel? I don't know, daughter. Hallelujah, but I hear the Lord. Hey, hallelujah. I cried out, hallelujah, for reason of my affliction unto the Lord, and he heard me. Out of the belly of hell, I cried. Mm, Jesus, have mercy. And thou heardest my cry. He heard my voice. Verse 3. For thou hast cast, hast cast me into the deep, 
and into the midst of the seas and the floods, oh God, come pass about me and the billows, oh God, and the waves passed over me. Then I said, I am cast out of thy sight. See, Jonah got to the place, even in the in the fish in the bellies, uh, in the in the fish's belly, he got to the place and said, God, for some reason I felt like I was off the radar. Oh God, hallelujah. I'm paraphrasing because he says, listen, he said, he says, it feels like God, hallelujah, that you took your eyes off of me. Whew. Oh God, in the name of Jesus, it, it looks like, it seemed like. Hallelujah, prophet Chanel, that God took his eyes off of you. He didn't, he didn't. Hallelujah, verse four says, and then I cast out, that you cast out of my sight, that I'm cast out of thy sight. Yet I will look again towards the holy temple. Oh, so, so Jonah, hallelujah, realized that he got to keep looking up unto God. Hallelujah, let's continue to read. And the waters come past about me, even my soul, mm -hmm, even to the soul, and the depths closed me round about. And the weeds wrapped around my head. Uh-oh. And I went down, hallelujah, into the bottom of the mountain. And in the earth, hallelujah, her bars were about me forever. Mm -hmm. And yet thou hast brought up my life from corruption, O Lord my God. He says, when, I, when my soul fainted within me, I remembered the Lord. Mm. When, when, when my soul fainted. Oh, this is good. I'm trying to get off, but we shifted. <laughs> hey, it's a night of the prophetic. Come on here. Y'all flow with me tonight. Hallelujah. Listen, he says what? He says, when my soul fainted within me, I remembered the Lord. Uh, and my prayer came in unto thee, into thy holy temple. Hmm. That thy, that, I'm sorry, they that observe lying vanities forsake their own mercy. Uh-oh, that's the people on the outside. Y'all ready? Y'all ready for this one? Let's go a little bit deeper. He says, but I will sacrifice unto thee the voice of thanksgiving. Uh, have you been praising God, Prophet Chanel, with the voice of thanksgiving? Have you been giving God thanks, hallelujah, even for the place that you're in right now? Whew. Have you been giving God thanks even though, hallelujah, you didn't go in the right direction? You, you didn't go the way that God told you to go? Hallelujah, you didn't do what God said to do? Even in the midst of that, your place of rescue, have you been giving God thanks? Come on, it's five more of you. Have you been giving God thanks? Then he goes on to say, I will pay that which I have vowed. Oh, I'm, I'm giving a shout right here. Hallelujah. Jonah says, I will pay you, God. What I have vowed to you. I, I, I made a vow, God, and I got to keep it. I got to keep it. I, I got to keep my vow. <laughs> I got to keep my vow. Hallelujah. Salvation is of the Lord. Yeah. Verse 10. And the Lord spake unto the fish and it vomited out Jonah on dry land. It wasn't until whew, Jonah repented in the belly of the fish and begin to reflect upon his life. It wasn't until, oh God, I, I saw somebody write a dark place, a dark place. That's when you are in a very dark place. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It, it wasn't until, hallelujah, Jonah cried out to the Lord and said, I remembered the Lord. Hold on. I had to praise God in the midst of what I'm going through. Mm. Hallelujah. I got to give him the voice of thanksgiving and I got to pay him what I have vowed. My God tonight. Oh, hallelujah. Somebody shout, I got to pay God what I owe him. Hey, because he didn't uh, allow me to be destroyed. Hallelujah. Because he didn't allow my situation to overtake me. Come on. Some of you, you got to pay what you owe God. And you got to give him praise in the midst of what you're going through. Come on. Don't let that praise leave you. Come on, Adrian. Hallelujah. Don't let your praise. Hallelujah. Leave you. Oh, my God. Never forget what God has done for you. Hallelujah. Never forget what the Lord has done for you. Hallelujah. Don't, don't forsake. Hallelujah. The many blessings of the Lord. Hallelujah. And all that he has done. Glory to God. Even when we go the wrong way. Come on. Even when we go the wrong way. Hallelujah. God says he's going to make a way for some of you to get back to where you need to get back to. 
Hallelujah. Kathy said, forgive me, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. There, there's, there's, a, there's a confession and a confirmation there. Hallelujah. God said it, it, it's prophet is Chanel, but it's also four more. He said it's five of you. Hallelujah. That he's about to relocate. Glory to God. He's about to shift you to the right place where you need to be. Glory to God. Receive the word of the Lord, people of God. Hallelujah. We're going to pray out tonight. Oh, Jesus. Hallelujah. That was heavy right there. Amen. I said that was heavy. Oh, shot. I said that right there was heavy. Amen. Hallelujah. The Holy Spirit spoke to many of you. Amen. Concerning that right there. You're coming out. Hallelujah. You're coming out of that dark place. Amen. You're coming out. Hallelujah. But some of you had to be rescued. Amen. And in the midst of you being rescued, now you realize, amen, that it has great purpose because the Bible said what? That God commanded that the, 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 the whale open his mouth and spew Jonah out. Vomit, the Bible says, to vomit Jonah out. Amen. On to dry land. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Can, can somebody shout, you're going to get there by any means necessary. It's not over. Hallelujah. Tracy says, I'm coming out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's not over. Hallelujah. It's not over. Hey, hallelujah. Listen, it wasn't over for Jonah. It's not over for you. Hallelujah. It, listen, glory to God. God has a way of getting you where you need to be in him. Hallelujah. So we thank God. Amen. We bless him on tonight. Hallelujah. Father, in the name of Jesus, oh God, Thank you for this word on tonight. Thank you for this here, your people, oh God. Thank you for each and every person under the sound of my voice, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh God, thank you for the reminder, God, that the enemy wants to take our oil. The enemy wants to snatch our oil. But God, you have released a word of encouragement, a word of empowerment to your vessels tonight, God. Hallelujah. Reminding them to hold on to the oil in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And Father, we even thank you now. Mm. Glory to God for this word and even the hearer of the word and the doer of the word, Father. Mm. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, God. Mm. Thank you even now, Father. Mm. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For those that are going to receive this word, oh God. Mm. Hallelujah. And walk in the manifestation of of the word yes lord yes lord in the mighty name of jesus hallelujah thank you lord god even for those that are hearing the word that desire to do the word mm. in the mighty name of jesus father help your people to not just eat and run oh sha but to seal what you have released into their spirit on tonight in the mighty name of jesus father help your people yes god i hear you to be accountable Hallelujah to your word in the mighty name of Jesus, oh God. Hallelujah. Strengthen them to be disciplined, I pray, in the mighty name of Jesus, oh God, so that the enemy can no longer rob them. Oh, of what you have promised them, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, I pray right now over every business and every business owner. Mm. Under the sound of my voice, God, that you will bless every business. Hallelujah. That you will bless the business owners on this live in the mighty name of Jesus, oh God. And Lord God, send the increase. Send the finances, Father. Send, hallelujah, the new business partners. Uh, oh God, to your people in the mighty name uh, of Jesus. Hallelujah. And Father, I even lift up those who lost loved ones in 2023 this year, oh God. Father, I pray for them in the name of Jesus, even as they embark upon the Christmas holiday. God, and even as they embark upon New Year's, Lord God, Father, I pray for supernatural strength, oh God, and even joy in this season, oh God, in the mighty name of Jesus, Father, thank you, even now for the spirit of joy, let it bubble, hallelujah, in this spirit, oh God, in the name of Jesus, yes, Lord, let the spirit of joy be released upon those who may be grieving, Oh God, in the name of Jesus, over their loved ones, Father, you said in your word to be absent of the body is to be present with the Lord. So Father, we thank you even now, God, those who have died in Christ, those who have died in you, Lord God, we will see again, hallelujah, in the mighty name of Jesus. So Father, we thank you for it now. We praise you for it now. We bless you for it now. And Father, I lift up even those that the desire 
divine connections in the name of Jesus. Even those that desire divine connections going into 2024. Father, let there be divine connections for those who are really serious. Hallelujah. About divinely connecting to kingdom, uh, kingdom citizens. Hallelujah. Kingdom ambassadors who can help them get to the place that they need to be in you, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus. Yes, Lord. And Father, we thank you that our businesses will expand. Hallelujah. We thank you even now for those that are going to start their new business. Um, hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. And we speak increase and overflow to it now, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus, oh God. And Lord, I ask right now, God. Mm, that you will bless those who have sown tonight. Oh, God, bless the sowers, I pray. Ah, in the name of Jesus, God, continue to give them seed to sow, Father. In the name of Jesus, oh, God, and help them to not be fearful, oh, God. Those who may not have sown, Lord God, help them to not be fearful, oh, God, but to walk by faith, hallelujah, and not by sight. In the mighty name of Jesus, God, release the spirit of faith, Hallelujah, upon your people even the more. Oh God, that they will walk by faith and not by sight. In the mighty name of Jesus, for God, you are calling your people, yes, Lord, to trust you even the more. Hey, you are calling your people, oh God, to trust you beyond what they see. In the mighty name of Jesus, hallelujah. And even those who you desire to relocate, Father, I pray for them even now. Oh God, that you would give them supernatural strength um, and supernatural power um, that can only come from the Holy Ghost uh, so that they can relocate, Father. Um, in the mighty name of Jesus, oh God, that they would not be fearful of the unknown. But oh God, um, you will let them know that you have gone before them. In the mighty name of Jesus, yes, God, for you are are Jehovah Nisi. Hallelujah. The Lord our banner. And God, you are going before those who are going to relocate, Father. In the mighty name of Jesus. And Lord, even as you have done it for me, oh God, and you have gotten me to my place of restoration, I pray the same for your people. Hallelujah. This early morning, I pray the same for your people. Hallelujah. This early morning, Father, release your favor upon them now. Hallelujah. So that what seems impossible can be possible in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. And Father, I seal every prophetic word in the blood of Jesus every prophecy tonight. Hey, I seal it in the blood of Jesus. Every word that's been spoken over your people, I seal it in the blood of Jesus and I cancel the assignment of the evil one. I cancel the assignment of the witch. Oh, shy. And the warlock that will come against the word that would try to prevent your people from walking in victory. I cancel the assignment now in Jesus mighty name. And I speak victory over your people in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh God, send some 30, some 60, some hundredfold upon every seed that has been sown on tonight. Send it, Lord, I pray. Send it quickly to your people, oh God. Make yourself known to them even the more before 2024 hits, oh God. Make yourself known to them, oh God, that you have spoken this night. Mm. Hallelujah. And you will bless them. You will prosper your people. You will help them to hold on to the oil in the mighty name of Jesus for the return of the Lord is nigh. Mm. Hallelujah. The return of the Lord is near. And Father, we thank you for it now. We bless you for it now. And it's in Jesus name that I do pray. Amen. Amen and amen. We bind every spirit of backlash and retaliation that would try to come against myself, my family, the ministry. Satan, the Lord rebukes you. You have no power, no dominion in Jesus' mighty name. Father, I thank you that Psalm 91, hallelujah, will manifest upon your people even now and even upon the ministry, I pray in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. God bless you all. Have a wonderful night, everyone. Remember, it's been a night of the prophetic. And remember that God says the enemy Want your oil. Don't give it away. Guard it. Cover it. And know that the return of the Lord is coming. And you're going to need your oil. God bless you. I have a wonderful night. Shalom, everyone. God bless. Amen. God bless you on YouTube. Have a wonderful night, wonderful morning. Listen, it's been a night of the prophetic. God bless you.